These haters they mad when the pages flip. Come up with doctrine, we pull the scripts. We come with an army, you came with a click. Shoot at the prophets, we taking a trip. St. Louis, yeah, this is the blitz. Take over your block and we make you repent. Tired of violence, but ready for action. We roll with the angels, don't care what you pack. Tell the people better calm down before the prophets get turned up. Telling the sheep to repent, yeah. Be rebellious and get burnt up. Humble down and just learn something. Evil spirits gotta go. Don't fear the man that can kill the body. Fear the man that can kill the soul. We humble and patient. Receive the orders and we execute. An attack on one of the king's men is the same as attacking the kings too. We show up with force and we shut it down. Warrior mind, we ain't playing around. The spirit of Christ and my forefathers coming down whenever we bring it out. Like, this is the bliss, so playing the fence. Cut up your loins, it's time to get in. Boost to the ground, we put it in gear. Blow up the trumpet, they know that we here. Purple and gold, we ain't taking no loss. Put on your armor and count the cross. We go to war, might not make it back, but we cry loud, they don't look it back. This is a bliss, so playing the fence. Cut up your loins, it's time to get in. Boost to the ground, we put it in gear. Blow up the trumpet, they know that we here. Purple and gold, we ain't taking no loss. Put on your armor and count the cross. We go to war, might not make it back, but we cry loud, they don't look it back. We shaking the hand, we pointing them out, we call out they sins. I know they don't like it, they don't understand. Don't care about your feelings. Talk to them, Jed. Bet that. Time in the place. Set that. They put their hands on one of the prophets. Now we gotta make them regret that. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Hey, one, shalom, two, one, shalom, two. shalom, shalom. Israel, Israel. Shalom, you know what time shalom, it is. Shalom. It's 1237. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's twelve thirty-seven. You know what I'm saying? Early. 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 Monday. <laughs> yeah, on a Monday. All praises, all, all praises, praises to, to the, the Most, most high. high. We in this thing. I am Officer Lagabawar, yeah. and I got Officer Hered. Officer Hered. Who else we got? Officer Benaya. Officer Benaya, and what? Officer Aliyah Kim. And if you, yeah, hold on, man. <laughs> hold on, man. Say, say that one more time. Say it one more time, Officer. Aliyah Kim. Aliyah Kim. Put some respect on it. And they say that when you're driving something. It will very soon. It will very soon, man. All praises hey, turn to the me most up in high. here, man. All praises to the most Turn me high. up in here. All hey, praises, bro. Hey, all praises. I'm back. Officer Aliyah is back in the building. <laughs> that was a long two weeks. Hey. <laughs> that was a long two you weeks, You was gone for bro. two weeks? I was gone two weeks. Nah, you, know nah, you wouldn't go. It was a week. Nah. It was gone for one week. Uh, one it was two week. weeks. I wasn't here the week before either. Nah, nah we got a fact check. One bro. week. Pull that up, bro. I, fact hey, check. I know Pull how long I was gone. I think it was one <laughs> week. It was two weeks. All praise. All praises you back though, man. All praises. All praises. Back feeling, and healthy, feeling, man. Feeling good. Feeling good. All, all praises to the most high, man. Most high, man. We in this thing. Hey, man. So listen. All praises. How was y'all Sabbath before we before we jump into the topic? You know. Before we do that, let's let's get it on out, man. How was the Sabbath, man? <laughs> How was your Sabbath? Anybody can go. Don't all go at once. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Sabbath was good. You know, all mm-hmm. praise to the most high. Hey, uh, Bishop's class. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Bishop. You know what I'm saying? But but the class was just, you know, when he brought out uh, Jeremiah Five. 51. I was mm-hmm. like, wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This Bible is a real book. You know what I'm saying? When you start matching up precepts, like he was going through, and I'm just matching the precepts, I'm like, dang, this Bible's a real book. Mm-hmm. We gots to be on point. We yeah, gots man. to be careful. We the people, bro. Ain't no way you should let nobody sway sway you from this understanding. Bro. Bring it up. As much understanding is coming out, mm-hmm. and you let somebody knock your crown off, Bring it uh, out. man, you a fool, man. You a fool in these last days. You like the, uh, you know that parable of the, um, the ten virgins? Yep. yep. You are those ones, those foolish ones mm-hmm. that's not taking it serious. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to trim. I think it said, trim didn't it say lamps. something about it? it? They trim their lamps. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. You, you're not trimming your lamps and trying to make and trying to make your your election and your calling sure. So Lord's will, you know, you ain't that that brother, that sister that's in that position, man, because it's too much understanding <laughs> coming out right now. I ain't gonna have no oil for you in that day. You, you ain't gonna have no oil? <laughs> Not for them. Go to, go to those yeah, You sell. gotta go to him to sell. Go to yeah, those that sell. Damn. And you, and you know that's a that's a black man, bro, that's saying that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got some oil? Nah, I ain't nah. got no oil for you, man. <laughs> you go, to, go over there. Yeah, go over there to him to buy it and sell it, man. You go over there. That's a cold parable, man. With all praise to the most high, man. Sabbath was good, man. You know, all praises, shouts out to the brothers that went down to uh, Austin for the South by Southwest. They did their thing. Bringing out get that some fire. Claps. Bringing out that fire. Don't hey, bro, you was there, at, bro. The brothers that was the there, even hit the clock button. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. 
That brother just looking at him, bro. Y'all was there. Y'all should be The, the buttons say clap. He just looking at the looking at it. Should put should I push it right now? All hey, praises, bro. man. Shouts out to you, brothers, man. That's a mighty work. I heard. I heard it was. Yeah, I was deep down there, bro. And I heard it was a lot of wickedness, a lot of strong face sisters down there, bro. <laughs> That's the report I got, bro. It was a lot of strong. They, you know, they was down in in Texas, man. Mm-hmm. You understand? And on top of that, Austin, which is right next to San Antonio, which I heard is one of some of the the ugliest people in the world. Dang. Hey, so they had Damn. Damn. That's what I heard, there. bro. Damn. <laughs> I never heard that before. Charles Barkley used to say it all the time. You ain't never heard Charles Barkley <laughs> say, say that. that. <laughs> you can't trust that Charles you Barkley say huh? You can't trust you can't him. Trust you got to fact, you got you fact his check wife, Charles right? Barkley. Huh? You seen his wife, right? Yeah, so he he's <laughs> he qualified. Would, he should know. You know how he's, he got G4 classification. <laughs> hey, he <laughs> think that's a beauty, that statement. <laughs> he think that's beauty. Yeah, I know, man. Hey, bro, I'm just saying what it is, what it is. That's, <laughs> that's the report that I got. You understand? But all praise to the most high, man. Y'all brothers made it back safe. You understand the worry went out and it definitely didn't go out void. So our whole mission is a hey, one person repent. You know what I'm saying? One person repent out of the millions that was down there. We did our job. So I'll pray for the most time for you brothers. Um, Hey, Zimra. What else? Zimra. Zimra. Oh, yeah, man. The album I'll, dropped. The album, the album dropped. dropped. I'll pray for the most time. If we, if we would have started on time, we would have heard the song. Yeah, you know we played it somewhere else. Somewhere <laughs> else out there. But I'll Damn. The most high. It's on the internet somewhere. It's on somewhere. the internet somewhere. <laughs> but all praises, man. So y'all support Officer Zim. Hear my prayer. Go download that thing. Don't yep. don't bootleg it, Israel. Right. Go download, download. It to your, download it to your phones, to your tablets. Yep. You understand? Go support the brother, man. Pay the ten dollars. You understand? Hey, and you know he put in a lot of work. Put in a lot you know of what work, man. To, to to get that album ready. We put in a lot of work. Hey, you understand? <laughs> Laga, Laga got bars is on there. Damn. Officer oh. Laga's on there. Nah, Officer I Zephaniah's on, on there. Yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Formerly from Kansas City. Yeah, we representing, bro. It's yeah, some yeah. it's some it's some bangers on there too, man. It is some bangers, bangers on there, man. man. I was listening to the other day. Shout out Zimron, man. Yeah, man. You like, know I, you know he think he's genuine. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed with Cisco. He think he's genuine, bro. You know, brother's hey, bro. that leg up, man. His brother took his shoe he off. He took in the his video. shoe off. You ain't never seen that in his room. Period. Officer, he spin yeah, out, the shoe. out the shoe. Spin out the shoe, And shoe, then three bro. of them appear. Like, bro, I'm gonna call officer and say, hey man, how many takes did that take, bro? <laughs> but yeah, the the video was fire, man. It gave you that Miami fire. vibes, like you in Miami on on South Beach. You understand? So all praise to the Most High, man. The brothers did a good work with that thing. Like I said, go support that brother, man. All right, y'all got anything else dealing with the Sabbath? Ain't nothing else happen. Hey, it was oh, okay. Uh, uh, hey, so what, what, what what you got, bro? Oh, you got oh, nothing. Come on, got bro. Nothing. Come on. Bro. He said I that got brother, the disclaimer. Come on now. He now. wants to read the disclaimer, bro. Go ahead and read the he disclaimer. Point, Go ahead and read it, bro. Just read it. Read your disclaimer, read bro. Just read it. Brother said, I got one job. <laughs> Go ahead. Let me do my job. Let me do my job. Go ahead, bro. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other, other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible-based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. Okay, all praise to the Most High, man. Hey, I want to start off um, with Isaiah 56 and verse 10. Isaiah 56 and verse 10. I want to start there. Before we jump in, the title of today's class or today's show is a, a modern day lynching. A modern day lynching. Yes, lynching still continues mm-hmm. in 2023. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, this is not a thing of the past. This is very much a part of our lives today. And if you Negroes don't wake up, mm-hmm. I'm part of the future. Yep. You understand? So let's read that right there. The book of Isaiah, chapter 56 and verse 10. His watchmen are blind. Mm. They are all ignorant. Mm -hmm. They are all dumb dogs. Let's examine this scripture right here. The scripture says his watchmen, the people that he set up to watch over the nations, to warn the nations, he disrespecting them. He calling them dogs. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You ever had a dumb dog, bro? 
when an intruder comes to the door, <laughs> the dog don't do nothing. Don't yeah. do nothing. He Hell comes sit next nah. to you. You ever had a dog, an animal, and you just looking at him like, man, this dog ain't shit. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ain't <laughs> that, that's what the Lord is saying about the pastors. You going to say something? Yeah, I got a story about that, bro. So when me and my wife first got together, right, mm -hmm. she had a dog that every time I walked in the house, it ran a hit under the bed. Yeah. <laughs> that's a dumb dog. That's a dumb dog. <laughs> that is the dumb dog. And that's what the Lord is saying about the characteristics about these pastors out here. Mm -hmm. He said, our watchmen, the men that are supposed to be watching over Israel, warning us of the things to, um, that will affect our nation. These other nations coming and bringing different idols, different ideologies, mm -hmm. bringing these things to us. We supposed to have watchmen to say, you know what? Wait, hold on. I don't think we need to be worshiping Caesar Borgia. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to be celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, Halloween. Mm -hmm. But you got Christians, Christian pastors mm -hmm. that have a whole damn service. <laughs> On Christmas Day <laughs> with the Christmas Man, tree. Ass down. Yep. <laughs> Play that again. What did it say? Man, sit your ass down. That's what you and, and, and this you know when you get drugged to church. Yeah. You know, as you, you get older, you be like, you start to know something in our minds as the prophets of the Lord. You know, I can only imagine young Jeremiah getting drugged to church. You're like, man, it's, this ain't the nothing. Hell is this? <laughs> what the, the hell, hell is this, what? man? Uh, yeah, he pray in his mind. Play the sound bite again. The hell is this? <laughs> Not that one, brother. Sit your ass down, with me, bro. man. Sit your ass down. Stay in the spirit with me, bro. In his mind, that's probably what he was saying. Yeah. You understand? Because why? Our watchmen are dumb dogs. Mm -hmm. You understand? Read the rest of that verse. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. He they said they blind. They can't. They, you can't see. Nope. You can't see the things that are evident right in front of you. That just show right there. When I re hear that. Listen, it ain't no faith going on in the Christian church. Bring it ain't no faith, ain't no belief going on in the Christian church. Right. Damn um, prosperity uh, speech. You officer, say officer, to be blind and be a watchman, those are two oh, opposite Come things. On, right. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, to watch means to see, Damn, to have huh? vision. Damn. You know what I'm saying? To see what's going on. So him calling you blind mm. says you're literally the opposite of mm. what I need you to be. Wow. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. So, like, you literally can't do your job. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You got one job, and you can't do it. You don't have the ability. The capability. You sitting on top of the castle. Where they at? <laughs> Where they at? I can't see. I, we can't see. What movie was that, bro? Like Dave Chappelle when he played, uh. Blind the blind, yeah, the blind, yeah, yeah, it's like that too, bro. Uh, um, I'm, what, I'm thinking of a movie, bro. Was it Titanic? Uh, Is it Titanic that they was out there? They was looking for the iceberg. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Titanic. They hit a big ass iceberg <laughs> right, right in front of them. <laughs> That's the pastors today, bro. Big ass Damn. iceberg, and, and you hit the, you hit it. You got one <laughs> job to warn the people. So what the scripture say, bro? His watchmen are blind. Go ahead. They are all ignorant. Mm -hmm. They are all Dumb dogs. Mm -hmm. They cannot bark. Mm -hmm. Sleeping, lying down. Be yeah, he loving. said they are. They all. They can't bark. That barking. That's a warning. That's what you're getting right now. You getting. We all getting this warning. Like you said, with the bishops' class, with the deacons, the, all these classes on the Sabbath. These are our warnings to get ourselves together. Come yeah. out of Babylon. But you got pastors that are dumb dogs that can't bark. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to warn you. Because they don't even know that they in in, in the midst of, of damn captivity. Right. And we can prove it. They love to slumber. Yep. Give me that first video. Watch this. We you know, you know how the scriptures say we're gonna declare the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna do right now. Hey, before we before we get that, hey, shout out Deacon Malachi. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Deacon Malachi. I forgot his class. Um, but as we're talking about uh watchmen, mm -hmm. his class on um, you know what I'm saying? Being prepared and what we're going to go through. Mm -hmm. That's an example of a watchman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Telling you, hey, think about this. This this persecution going to happen. Be prepared for this. Be prepared for that. Things that you may not even thought about. Now he putting it on your mind. Like, damn. Bring it up. I got to make sure these things are prepared. I got to make sure these things are being mm -hmm. taught in my household. Mm -hmm. I got to make sure my wife is prepared. I got to make sure my kids are prepared that they know what to do in case this happens. Right. Yeah, that's what a watchman is supposed to do. So shout out Deacon Malachi. 
And that's something that leadership has been teaching for, uh, I say, all about two years now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm yep. saying? Two years, been teaching the same classes. Hey, listen, persecution coming. He, uh, the bishop is prophesying about the famine coming. Yep. Now we're in the midst of the famine. You understand? Now we just switched over. Hey, here come this persecution. What are you going to do? And it all goes back to the parable of the ten virgins. You're going to have five that's going to accept this knowledge, understand it, apply it, and you're going to have five, those foolish, that's not going to do anything. And you're going to be a part of the dumb dogs that love to slumber. You understand? And watch this. Let's play that video right here. Let's look at some dumb dogs. Pause it. Pause it and run it back. And I hate to do this, but it is what it is, man. Hold on, pause it. Hold on, pause it. You hear the chant? They didn't even know it, bro. You hear the chant, bro? <laughs> what are they saying? They can't get it out. <laughs> the scripture said they can't bark. Bruh. Damn. You understand? Like, when, when you play in the video, it's like, bro, y'all have been going up. And, and we understand, like, these are our people. And you hate to see our people like this. Our our prayer and desire is that they repent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have been going through this since nineteen since the sixties. Yep. Come you have on, been marching, man. doing the same demonstration. It ain't worked. Nothing has changed. It ain't worked. And when you actually examine the clip, look at the damn all the white folks is in there. They secret uh what they call them secret, secret services. services. Yep. Yep. They don't want to be there. They there. They got one job. One job. So they ain't saying nothing. They ain't echoing nothing. You talking about what do we want? Their job is to make sure Biden don't fall asleep. He don't fall asleep <laughs> while he's walking. <laughs> bro, look at the average age of all the ones up front. Bro, they hold each other up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Jesse Jackson can't see. Jesse or walk. Jackson can't see or walk. <laughs> The look on his face is, why am I here? The brother in the chair. Where, where, where am I at? The brother in the uh, chair looks like that's that. Je like. That's Jesse. That's Jesse. Jesse? In the chair? Yeah, that, yeah, that was Jesse. Play it again. Play, play that. That's Jesse Jackson in the chair. That looked like him. Dang. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that looked like weekend at Birdie's. Yeah, like, real, 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 real talk. That looked like re and I and I'm not I'm, I'm being saying. funny, but I'm not trying to be funny, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, this this is what happens when you fall for the okie doke yes. over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? You these are like we talking about dumb dogs and we seeing dumb dogs. You know what I'm saying? This is a dumb dog that can't bark. You're doing the same thing over and over and over mm -hmm. again, and you see that it's not working. Bring you up. see that it's actually dividing our community more yeah. than it's actually helping our right. community yeah. because yeah. the young people don't want to deal with you. How many times has Al Sharpton got ran off the block? Yeah. How many times has, um, what's the other dude's name? Jesse Jackson, how many times have they got ran off the block by young people because young people are tired of hearing what they got to say mm -hmm. because they're not teaching them because Bring they up. sold out just like Al Sharpton sold out the, what was it like? He got $3 million yeah, like to be quiet about yeah. something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They tired of y'all selling out. Mm -hmm. They tired of y'all being dumb dogs and they know it. So you're not bringing the community together. You're separating the community. Yep. What we doing here with this Bible, we bringing the community together. Everybody can relate to this Bible. All of us can relate to the atrocities that our people go through. All of us can relate to who we are and the experiences that we go through and how we can find them in the Bible. That's bringing people together. Mm -hmm. And you you allowing people, like I said, these are our, our, our so-called elders mm -hmm. right, right here. This is a, a domino effect of why young people think, move the way that they do. Right. Bring it up. Why you get, as we go further in the show, why you make a statement where I can't believe in 2023 there's a lynching. Because this is what we've been taught. We've been taught Christianity. We've been taught to uh, uh, agree with our oppressors, walk with our oppressors, join hand in hand with our oppressors. That's what said We understand in the 60s what, what our... Um, with our ancestors, we understand they didn't have the information. Nope. 
They didn't have this this knowledge that we got. We have it. So now this is our duty. This is what this is what Genesis 50 is talking about. Is it Genesis 50? Or yeah, is it it's 50, right? What thou meant for evil? Yeah, it says who aroused them up. 49. 49. 49. Yep. Give me that scripture well, yeah. right quick, bro. The prophecy about Judah. The prophecy about Judah. This is this is what this is going into. Go ahead. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 9. Yep. Judah is a lion's well. Judah is the so-called African Americans today. A lot of these brothers and sisters that you see in this picture, these are African Americans today. Put them back on the screen, officer. Put them back on the screen. He said, Judah, we are a lion's well. We're supposed to be a strong lion. Girl, a strong people. Watch this, read. Judah is a lion's well. Go ahead. From the prey, my son. That are gone up. From the prey, meaning from our enemies, we was conquered. Mm -hmm. We was conquered. Read, come on. That are gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. In the 60s, we stooped down with, you had the uh, uh, the Black Panthers. Yep. Mm -hmm. You had the uh, SNCC. SNCC. You had all these different organizations that was coming out and, and coming back to our identity. Hey, we, we men. Mm -hmm. Treat us like men. They had the, the brothers out there with the signs, I, I am a man. Yep. You know, anytime you got to tell somebody that you a man, right. that lets you know There's a problem. that There's you in captivity. They Bro. understood this. You understand? Read it again. Judah is a lion's whelp. Go ahead. From the prey, my son. Go ahead. Thou art gone up. Go ahead. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. At one point in time, we was ready to defend. We was ready to fight back. Read. We understood who our enemies was. Right. Read. Come on. And, and as an old lion. But now you seeing old lions. Stop right there. <laughs> you seeing old lions. An old lion, when you examine nature, he just sit under the tree. Yep. <laughs> he, ready to, he ready to pass. Ain't no fight left. He ain't him. chasing no damn gazelle. Nope. He Bro. ain't doing nothing. He just, he, he, he's on the damn, he's a savage at, at this point hey, in his of, life. Also, a lot of times, too, the young lions start to take over for the old lion. They right. kick him out the pride. Right. You understand? Say that one more time, officer. Hey, the young lions, they'll come and challenge the old lion and kick him out the pride. They kick him out the pride. Damn. So that's, so listen, that's what's going on right now. This is the next verse. You was going to say something, officer? I was about to say, and I think when, um, because that's who, the, that's Al Sharpton, right? Yeah. The glasses. Because Al Sharpton, he went to Philly. Was it Philly? It was Philly or Baltimore, one mm -hmm. of those projects. Mm -hmm. And them young cats, like Officer Lago was saying, them young bucks, they kicked him out the hood because they know he's getting paid. They know that Al Sharpton has not done anything for the black community since he's been since put he in lost his place. 350 pounds. Yes. <laughs> Damn. And went from a Jerry Curl. Uh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> he got the slip back. The slip back. Come on, man. Come on, Al, bro. So read the scripture. Just and, start with from where you was at. As you can see, there's no young people. No with young people there. All. This is why the scripture says, "As an old, as an old lion," because we, you forgot to fight. Mm -hmm. You forgot that hey, they've been kicking you behind for all these years. Bring it Go up. ahead. And as an old lion. Go ahead. Who shall rouse him up? The scripture says, "Who's gonna rouse him up?" Now the Lord is putting the spirit back into the young men, bro. Back into these men, hey, rousing us up so we can start to remember, okay, wait a minute. Damn, we been here in captivity. We ain't got no, we don't have anything mm -hmm. to show nothing. for it, nothing. We built this whole country. Yep. How do you, and think about it, bro. We in a state right now where we looking at the, the very things, you know, when it says in Deuteronomy 28, 48, where we got to go to them for the one of all things. Mm -hmm. Driver's license, uh, give me some more education. Education. For the one of everything. Name Birth certificate, change. death certificate, name change. Name change. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Now we're looking at these things as a delicacy. Now we're looking at these things, uh, I, I got, this is privilege. I'm free. I'm, I'm free. Come on, you gotta man. You got to go to the daddy. To, you got to go to the daddy to buy the car. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the cousin to get the damn car tagged up. Yep. Sure. You got to go holler at the <laughs> uncle. To drive the car, you understand? Then you got to go to the to the mother-in-law because you bought it. You got to go to her and pay her money because yep. you bought the car. It's got a sales tax. Yep, yep. I'm telling you, 60 hey. days, brothers. <laughs> and don't forget, you days. can't leave a lot unless and you're you insured. Can't, and you can't leave a lot until you talk to the great auntie <laughs> for the insurance claim. Damn. You understand? We got to go to them for the one of all things. And we forgot that all, these, all that is a curse. Yo. And on top of that, you got to go to the uncle 
to work for him to pay everybody every day. Right. <laughs> Your oppression is disguised. It's disguised, bro. Because now, remember, like like you said, we got to go to them for food, water, clothing. Everything. But back in the day when you, you had to, you physically... They physically, like, they had our kids eating out of pig troughs. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, we physically had to go to our enemies. Now, since we got grocery stores, mm. we got hey. um, clothing lines mm. and clothing stores. We think that, we good. We wait think minute, we good. Wait, we think wait, we're free. Wait a minute, officer. It's not disguised. Hmm. It's just that we blind. Yes. yes. It's our leader <laughs> blind, like the scripture said. They put it right in front of your face. You got to go to save a lot, mm -hmm. and they go to Whole Foods. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you're still eating from a pig trough. You know what I'm saying? Bring uh, it out. <laughs> you, you, your supermarket ain't they supermarket. Yep. What you eat ain't what they eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the same abilities that they have. Mm -hmm. It's right in your face. Mm -hmm. It's Bring just it that you're blind. Mm -hmm. And we got blind leaders that's yep. telling us it's okay. Oh, we got a new grocery store in the hood. But that grocery store sell you pork on top of pork on top of pork. They don't give you naturally raised chickens. Mm -hmm. They give you chickens pumped up with uh, GMOs and GMOs all, and and all kind of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to alter your DNA, to alter how you think. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mess up your brain pattern so you can't think properly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like so, yeah, it's still the same thing. It's just that we blind. We you know because we got blind leaders. They made blind people. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't it's forget. a scripture to say that. Meet uh, Jeremiah 96. I got you, officer. Go ahead, make your, go ahead. I was go gonna ahead. say, don't forget, then they put McDonald's in your hood and feed you human meat. Damn. Exactly. Bruh. <laughs> That's right. That's right. In every ghetto, it's the same, it's the same blueprint. Yep. McDonald's, Burger King, Popeyes. KFC, Church's Chicken. And they all right by and each other. And they all right, right by each, next other. each other. You go to their neighborhood, you get in a variety, you get in restaurants, healthy you know choices. Saying? Healthy choices, not not in the hood. You might get a juice bar every now and then. Nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Go ahead. Thine habitation is in the midst of deceit. I want you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to understand something. It says, where you dwell at, it's in the midst of deceit. You being deceived. Like he said, <laughs> it's right in your face. But you blind to the fact that you are living in captivity. Everything that you touch, you see, you breathe, is captivity. Bring when you got to pay for the damn air, mm -hmm. that's captivity. Yeah. The that rains, the that's water, the water, that's captivity. Read through deceit. They refuse to know me. And through that deceit, y'all don't want to learn this Bible because we comfortable in this society that we in. We comfortable just like our forefathers was comfortable coming out of Egypt. It's the same thing. The same play today. We comfortable. You comfortable with the cucumbers. You comfortable with the McDonald's. <laughs> You comfortable with the straw, with the melons. You comfortable yeah, with the pot pies, yeah. the <laughs> Wendy's. Because you got mamas that don't want to cook. They want to, hey, you know what? Let me go get my, my baby a, a six-piece chicken nugget. Mm. You understand? And, and, and feed them for the night. Look, brothers then perked up. Brothers, brother, yeah, damn. I was, about brothers to say, bring, scarred. I was about to say, bring it out. Brothers <laughs> are scarred off the six-piece chicken nuggets. Still <laughs> eating them the today. <laughs> Not the six-piece. Yeah, the six-piece, bro. Give me two of them. Grown man eating the six-piece barbecue attacks. sauce. It's all right, bro. We're going to get the brother married, man. We're going to get the brother married, bro. We ain't, we ain't having all this, bro. But anyway, uh, we, what was you going to say something? No, I was going to say uh, one thing that summarized all of that. But from the Genesis, the 49, mm -hmm. uh, Genesis 49, our leader's language, to blind dogs, all of that, Jeremiah 14, mm -hmm. our leadership language. Yeah, they language. Leaders. Yeah. So, and I'm telling you, all of these precepts, they roll together. They roll together, let you know, like the officer said, this Bible is a true book. It's up to us. You had that faith and believe what's coming out. Now Bring watch this. Give me the next video, man. Let's let's hop on into it, man. Oh, yeah, get, get the article. Yeah. Hey, you know what you notice about this picture too, article. officer? What's that? All you see mostly is women. Uh oh. You see a very few men. The few men that you see are old and they can't really they Fragile. don't really have their minds. But you see mostly <laughs> women in this picture. Letting you know, hey, they did a good job of reversing the roles in our communities. Mm -hmm. uh, scroll down right quick. Let's read that because this is this is him walking. This is why they was out there walking. I think I want um scroll down to where they was voting. Uh, why they was go back. Let's read this right quick. Scroll down, scroll down. Uh, where they was talking about they were voting. 
Can you read the title real quick? Let me pull it up. No, go down. Go down. Right there. In Selma, Biden says right to vote remains under assault. You see it? It's on the right axis. Yeah. Okay, yeah, nah, I want to go down because for time. Um, hey, plug us in right quick. Let me say, while you're looking for it, make sure y'all go follow us on IUIC TV, IUIC Kansas City. Hey, we're trying to get to 8,000. All right, go follow the page, bro. Go follow why it's still available on all platforms. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, let's, let's read it. Let's just start there. It's all good. I want them. No, two years. Two years ago, on, on the anniversary, Biden issued an, an executive order directing federal agencies to expand access to voter registration, called on the heads of agencies to come up with plans to give federal employees time off to vote or volunteer as, as nonpartisan poll workers and more. Okay. All right. Hold on. I found it. It says the visit at Selma. Yeah, there we go, man. Scroll up. The visit at Selma. Uh Right there. All right, let's read that. Watch the, this. The visit to Selma was a chance for Biden to speak directly to the current generation of civil rights activists. Okay, to the current generations of civil rights activists. Now, when you read that, what comes to your mind? There, there are the current civil rights activists don't vote. <laughs> the young people that are out that really are trying to make differences, uh, they don't vote. Bring they up. don't believe in the system. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's trying to reach out to them to get them. He's trying to use the old leaders, the Thank old you. There dogs. you go. That's there what I'm saying, bro. Talk to them to there get them go. to try to, you know what I'm saying? To the same yeah. generational yeah. civil rights activists. Because like you said, young people, I've never cast a vote in my life. I did once. I voted one time. Never. You voted one time? One all time. Part, listen, never. You understand? Because why? We understand. As you under, All the information out you start to understand little things about the electoral vote, mm -hmm. you know, um, the popular yeah. vote. Yep, you man. understand that, guess what? Your vote don't Doesn't matter. Don't Even matter. in the world, I understood that. Like, yeah. I'm not about to go stand in line to vote. <laughs> now, I was the Negro out there talking about we, my president uh, is black. black right. I was out there. I was doing <laughs> hey, that's the only that's time. That's the only time. That. That's the only right. time we <laughs> voted. Because Obama was black. I will say that. Only time. Black. I will say that. The only time. I was bumping that. <laughs> right, but I repent. It. I ain't with it like Captain Bizarre. All right, so let's read. Go back to the article. Many feel let down because of the lack of progress in voting rights, and they are eager to see his administration keep the issue in the spotlight. So they still marching, still speaking up for the same things as they was in 1865. I mean, 1965. Bruh. Right. This is amazing. The same, Go ahead. Same thing. Few moments have had as lasting importance to the civil rights movement as what happened on March 7th, 1965, mm -hmm. in Selma and in the weeks that followed. Go ahead. Some 600 peaceful demonstrators, led by Lewis and fellow activist Hosea Williams, had gathered that day, just weeks after the fatal shooting of a young black man, mm. Jimmy Lee Jackson. Now, uh, hey, I'm going to warn y'all, this is not 2023. I know mm -hmm. you just might be reading that. And you might think, well, damn, a, a young black man just got killed last week by a trooper. No, we're talking about 18, 1965. Right. <laughs> Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing, nothing changed. changed. Thank you, Dog. Yeah. Go ahead, read. We're I, reading this for, for a reason. Because I want to show y'all the mindset of our people. Our people have forgotten that you in captivity. Mm -hmm. yep. So the Lord got to put demonstrations out there to remind the Negro of, okay, you know what? You are in your enemy's lands. You are behind enemy lines. Read on. Come on. After the fatal shooting of a young black man, Jimmy Lee Jackson, by an Alabama trooper. Go ahead. Lewis and the others were brutally beaten mm. by Alabama troopers mm. and sheriff's deputies as they tried to cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Soon as they got across the bridge, y'all know what happened. They beat they behind. Sick them dogs. Hey. Sick the dogs on them. Go ahead. And again. This is 1965. Yes. <laughs> Not to be compared with 2022 mm -hmm. when the uh, Black Lives Matter protesters was getting beat down by, right. the, by the police. By the police. <laughs> <laughs> Not just by the police. It was on white militia groups out there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, uh, you know. Same thing. Same thing. Go ahead. At the start of what was supposed to be a 54-mile walk to the state capitol in Montgomery as part of a larger effort <laughs> 
to register black voters in the South. So they was about to walk 54 miles just Bruh. to <laughs> register. To register Stop just it. Just to, to try to register to vote. You know, because when they when they came all together, this wasn't no concrete thing that we was going to be able to do this. Thing. Right. No. So um, we're showing you what happened in 1965. All right. These things still happening today. And you got our people who are blind to the fact that you in captivity. Now, watch this. Let's go to the next clip. Let's go to the next one. Hey, if I may add right quick, too, because remember, it said they walked 54 miles. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. No, they were supposed to walk. They were supposed to. <laughs> they didn't make it. They didn't make they it. it. They didn't make it. Yeah, the troopers, 50 yards. The troopers they got, said, y'all not going to The gonna plan was to go 54 yards. <laughs> they went 50, 50 meters. But remember when that whole Sama thing happened, Martin yeah. Luther King, remember they had the, they was boycotting the bus systems. Right. Yeah. And that's when black people were sticking together. They was on, what is it called, carpooling and all that stuff. Yeah. But they was affecting affecting Esau's money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But instead of um, having a mindset of saying, let's create our own bus company, mm -hmm. they hey, once they gave them what they wanted, the voting rights, they jumped back on the bus company. Hey, you know what's, what's crazy? When you, when you research that history, we actually did have two of our own bus companies yeah. during that time. It, it wasn't the fact that we didn't have our own. Yeah, they had. It was the fact that um, ours weren't as uh, stable as theirs, mm -hmm. and they were trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to get it equal. But uh, Who was that? The, the brother went on in the breakfast club, and he explained that they had 100 buses. They had like a full system. I a forgot his fleet. name, bro. Yeah, I forgot the brother's name. Excuse me. But um, – yeah, he he explained they had two they had companies, a hundred buses, and we were so eager to integrate yep. that we abandoned what we had already was yep. establishing. And Come right. on, All man! Black business failed because yeah. integration and it, it failed. Be, and again, that's a curse of the mentality of mm -hmm. the spirit. Like the Lord said, if you don't meditate on these words, if you don't come follow me. You gonna fail. Nothing. Everything that you touch, mm -hmm. you know how to. You know how uh, <laughs> to you do right by me. To everything you touch. <laughs> oh, Seely, Seely. Oh, there you go. There you go, bro. <laughs> to you do right by me. Everything that you touch <laughs> is gonna fail. Hey, I'm hey that's not what I want. Yeah, that's what I want right there. All right, let's play this thing right here. Watch this. Watch this. All right. I want to start by saying I, I appreciate all the support that I've gotten from everybody, from people and from friends. And I'm not talking about just in this moment. I'm talking about over the years, people that have followed me, my whole career, the peaks, and certainly through the valleys. But this sickens me. This sickens me. Because in this great country, this takes me back to a time where a white man would accuse a black, a white woman would accuse a black man of something, and they would take a bunch of guys that were above the law, run in the barn, put a rope around his foot, and drag him through the mud, and hang him by the tree. Not a thought about what would happen. Not an investigation. Not after repeated attempts of people trying to go and say, "Guys, he, here's what really happened. Here is what really happened." Here are witnesses that will say this. Here are witnesses that will say that. They said, we don't want to hear. We do not want to hear. How can, you, how, how can I defend myself if I don't even know what I'm defending myself against? They asked me, they said, do you remember this girl you met in the lobby? I work, and I live in hotels. I stay in hotels all year long from August to September. Stop. I meet so Think about it. So what happened to the brother Michael Irvin? This is what we about to get into. Here you got this is a professional football player, uh, quote unquote Hall of Famer, whatever you know, whatever. Dallas Cowboy, you know what I'm saying? The brother go into a go into a hotel and get accused of sexual assault. Mm -hmm. Now he's saying, you know, that the Marriott come out and say, Hey, you sexually assaulted this brother without no investigation. Mm -hmm. Without no looking into no no legal nothing, you sexually assaulted this brother, woman. This woman. They take the brother off the NFL Network. They take the brother off, fire, uh, suspending yep. immediately. So he's he's putting it in in contrast. He's like, listen, 
this just this used to happen to our brothers in the 60s and before that you understand where a white woman would accuse a brother and without no judicial system mm -hmm. you would come and you would hang that brother up and, and lynch him in front of everybody is that not facts or fiction that's fact this go ahead Emmett Till. Emmett Till is the result of um, somebody accusing, saying he whistled at a white woman. Mm -hmm. And remember, his body was unidentifiable. Like they, they, what they, they tied him to a back of a pickle truck, and they kept going. And his, 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 his own mother said, "I want to have an open okay. casket yep. so they can see what they did to my son." Mm -hmm. But this is fact. Yes, and nobody went to jail, and nobody, nobody went to jail. And remember, the white woman recently yep. <laughs> she confessed to it. No charges. And think about that. that. Think this. about when they was coming and snatching little, little uh, Emmett Till. And they was, a, hey, you whistled at a white woman, whatever they, they were saying. Do you think in his mind he knew which white woman that they was talking about? Not at all. Huh? Nope. Do you think he, he yeah, knew? Think about how many, because he's down visiting. I don't know if y'all yeah. y'all read into it. He's down yeah. visiting. How many white women do you think he didn't ran across? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. This is what Mike Irvin is saying. Like, bro, y'all come and saying I am did something, and I don't even know who y'all talking about. Mm -hmm. So if this was 1865, this was 1913, we'll be looking at Michael Irvin. From a tree. From a tree. Yep. He will be strange fruit. And not yep. just Michael Irvin, all of us. Because remember, just off of uh, one yeah, allegation, yeah. Tulsa, Oklahoma, yeah. Black yeah. Wall Street got um, bombed, mm. rampaged, Rose just Wood. because, uh, just because of that, they start killing everybody. Yep. Rosewood, Florida, yeah. Red mm -hmm. Summers, yep. Red, yeah, the Summers. Red Summer. Hey, type that in, Red Summer, because a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people never heard of the Red Summer. Hey, and a lot of a lot of people don't know. Like one person, let's say something that did happen to one person. One person did do something. Like in Virginia, they got this street called Blackhead Road, mm -hmm. and it's named Blackhead Road because um after Nat Turner, after they did the revolt. They went and punished all the slaves for what Nat Turner did, and yep. a couple slaves that revolted, and they decapitated everybody's heads and put them on pikes. Mm -hmm. So, hey, this is a known fact. Yes, and, and and this why I'm emphasizing is this a fact or a fiction? As we go on along in the show, you're gonna start to understand the reason is of men. A lot of our black men have forgotten that you're in captivity. Hey, also, didn't uh, Donald Trump say if you if you don't remember your history, it's bound to repeat itself? Yes, he did say that. Yep. <laughs> and did, what because they remember their history. Yeah. They remember. And that's why they say make America great again. Yes. Yep. They saying, hey, look, we want to go back to a time where we were dominant. Yep. Mm -hmm. we, we don't feel as dominant as, as we were. We need to make sure everybody knows how dominant we are. Mm -hmm. Don't play with us. Mm -hmm. We are the eagle. We are the dragon. Don't play with us. Mm -hmm. That's what Donald Trump was really saying when he was saying <laughs> make America spirit. great yep. again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's trying to rile the people up like, hey, don't forget who you are. Oh, he didn't try, officer. He riled yeah, them oh, up. He, he did. did. He did. He riled them right. up. He did. You know what I'm saying? Bring but up. he's telling them, don't forget who you are. You mm -hmm. Esau. Yeah. You son of the devil. Come on now. We got things we got to do. Bring you know up. what I'm saying? Like, they remember who they are. We got to remember who we are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was trying to make that point of, hey, let's make America great again. Let's put these people back in fear, mm -hmm. understanding Every that, day. Yeah. Understanding who we are. And even from that history that also Benai just said, how they would decapitate us and put our heads on stakes, they learned that from the Assyrians. Mm -hmm. So they letting you know they know exactly who they are, and they took pieces from every captivity that we was in, mm -hmm. and they continue to use that. Mm -hmm. Dang, damn. damn. Matter of fact, hey, let's read that. Then give me that second Maccabees 7. I just I just thought about some because what they let's read that first. Read the Red Summer first. Put that on the screen, officer. Red Summer. Mm -hmm. Red Summer was a period in mid nineteen nineteen during which white supremacist supremacist terrorism mm. and racial riots occurred in more than three dozen cities across the United States mm. and in one rural county in Arkansas. All right, hey, real real so, quick. Uh, go ahead. Real quick. 1919 that's a little over a hundred years ago right mm -hmm. but when they when they flash back to that they make you feel like it was you know like 200 300 years ago right. like this is ancient history no. this is not ancient history nope you know what i'm saying this is not ancient history your your grandma, your grandma probably was, seen yeah. this your yep. your great grandma probably seen this you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like somebody that you 
may have known or, you know what I'm saying, in your family tree, seen this. Mm -hmm. They was around when it happened. It's not it's not so far-fetched to where it's just it don't mean nothing no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever, like, I think that's what they try to do as a trick as well to try to make it seem like it was so long ago. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't so long ago. Let's yeah. read this re real quick. On September 27th, 19, is, go ahead, go ahead. On September 27th, 1919, mm -hmm. a mob of at least 10,000 white people stormed the courthouse in Omaha, Nebraska, mm. demanding the sheriff turn over Will Brown. That, don't that sound familiar? Now, wait a minute. Hold on. Go back <laughs> down, bro. Why are you moving it? Don't this sound familiar? Very, Sorry, familiar. very familiar. This very is familiar. in their nature. Yep. This is in their nature. They said they stormed the courthouse. So so that little storming <laughs> that we seen, uh, what was that, January 6th? Yeah. That wasn't nothing. Nope. They've been doing this. Go ahead, Reed. I'm sorry. At least 10,000 white people stormed the courthouse in Omaha, Nebraska. Yep. White. Demanding the sheriff turn over Will Brown. Give me the nigga. Go ahead. A 40-year-old black man. Mm -hmm. They raided the building, scaled walls. Damn, bro. Damn. Go ahead. And smashed scaled windows. Scaled walls. That's, scaled that's what they was doing. Right. They turned into Spider-Man. That's what they was look, doing. Look, if you, look, 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 if, if, you put, if you put a side-by-side -side of this in January 6th, the Capitol riots. Yeah. It looked the same. And take out the color, you wouldn't know which one is which, bro. <laughs> go back, because we ain't got time, officer. Go back. Hey, you got to have some real hatred to scale the walls. To scale the walls. <laughs> you want it, bro. <laughs> and you know you get tired. You want it. You know you're tired. You, know you don't even you know why it. you scale. <laughs> you just <laughs> <laughs> scale Go ahead. And smash windows. Mm -hmm. When the mob's initial demands were refused, they set fire to the courthouse, mm. turning it into a seething furnace. Dang. Omaha Mayor Ed Smith tried to intervene, mm -hmm. but the mob tried to lynch him. Smith escaped badly injured. Mm -hmm. So the, that's it. Don't that. So when they go in there, they just don't want the. They just don't want that individual. Yeah. What you bringing out? They want the whole town. Yep. Everybody's afflicted by this. So that little that little um, uh, all, allegation that they made against Michael Irvin that could have affected a lot of people's yep. lives in Dallas, Texas. Exactly. This is what we bringing out. This is why you don't you don't understand that you in captivity. And when you think about what's what be coming out of some of our men's mouth, mm -hmm. it's like, bro, what the hell are you talking about? Right. Mm -hmm. Because they they pull you out to mock you, right? Mm -hmm. To make you a spectacle, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Second Maccabees chapter 7, start at verse 1. Read fast. Second Maccabees chapter 7 and verse 1. Bring it it came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king. This is one of our foremothers who was captured by the Greek king, taking her and her seven sons. Watch this. This is what we read. This is the history. Read. And compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh and were tormented with scourges and whips. Mm -hmm. But one of them that spake first said thus, what wouldest thou ask or learn of us? He said, what you want to learn from us? <laughs> what, you, what you want from me? What you think I'm going to tell you? We know that you're here to kill us. Go ahead, read. We are ready to die. And, and when you read that, you got to understand this is what you brought. This is why I pop on. Man, we in the spirit. When Deacon was bringing this out and persecution coming, this, this shows you what the mother was instilling in her children. Right. Mm -hmm. For him to make that statement, we ready to die, that was something that's been drained, drilled in his mind. Listen, you got to be ready on that day when they come, be ready to give your life mm -hmm. because they coming. Watch this, read, but come on. We are ready to die mm -hmm. rather than to transgress the laws of our fathers. Then the king, being enraged, commanded pans and cauldrons to be made hot, mm -hmm. which forthwith being heated, he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that spake first mm -hmm. and to cut off the utmost parts of his body, the rest of his brethren and his mother looking on. So this, so the rest of his brother, now, now they main this brother, mm -hmm. and everybody's watching this. This is a spectacle. I want the. It's a part in here that says they did it to mock them. Verse seven. Verse seven. Yes, sir. Okay, read that. So when the first was dead, yeah, that's it. Go ahead. After this manner, mm -hmm. they brought the second to make him a mocking. They stock. brought the second to make him a mocking stock. This is their nature. Mm -hmm. These are Edomites that we're talking about that they did to black Jews, to the Israelites, and it's the same thing over and over. So now when you get here, 
why you got dumb dogs that's not giving us warning? Mm-hmm. Now you got a brother that's saying, I can't believe in this great country, Negro, when had this country ever been right. great? <laughs> for you. For Bruh. you. He, uh, yeah, we catch a football, they cheering for you. Yeah, they cheering for you because you winning their money, you're entertaining them. Yes. But the moment you slip up, yep. this nigga's a, a rapist. Yep. Uh, amazing. Without, without any proof. Without any proof. We don't need proof. They're ready rapist. to turn on you behind. And the law, and it, their law is supposed to be guilty. I mean, innocent to proven guilty, but uh, not for for you if you want <laughs> Judah. Yeah, not if you got dark skin. Not nope. if you, not if you are Israelite. Nope, that don't apply to you, Negroes. You understand? They make us a mocking stock. So go back, watch this. That's all I want. Was this some more in there? Yes, sir. Oh, keep reading. Go ahead. Making him a mocking stock. Go ahead. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head, damn. Go ahead. With the hair, scalping. Go ahead. They asked him, "Wilt thou eat?" Before thou be punished throughout every member this of what thy they was body. Asking our, that's what they mm. was asking our forefathers. Because when you, as we as we go on, I don't want to jump ahead. You know, it, that just came to me. As you go on, when they was lynching us mm-hmm. and uh, uh, cutting off our members, yep. you don't think they was asking us questions? Yep. yep. <laughs> what else did you do? Yep. Did you re- damn? Did you kiss the? Did you kiss the? Uh, did you look at my daughter? Mm. You understand? They asking us questions and while while we going through the same atrocities, the same tortures. But we forget, we forget all this. All of this, yep. You understand? So watch this. Give me the next video. Script say, remember the days of old. Thank you. Remember. Give me the next video. Watch this. 414. Play that. This, this is what happened. Hell said. Happened. In their wording, they said Michael Irvin was aggressive. He was vulgar. Go back, he was go in back a very drunken seconds. state, and go he made a multiple sexual any to Michael Irvin. And yet, no one saw him do anything wrong. I know the video doesn't have any audio, so there's no way to prove Hold that on, Michael pause. Irvin didn't so this say. So is, this is the actual video, which the Marriott refused for days to release. Days. The, the lawyers had to make him release it. Yeah, they did not want to release this video at all because they knew this. Damn. It ain't no proof. Ain't no it ain't proof. no substance. That's what we're talking bro. about. You understand? Go ahead, play on. Anything inappropriate, but I want you guys to pay attention to what the hotel said. In their wording, they said Michael Irvin was aggressive, he was vulgar, he was in a very drunken state, and he made multiple sexual advances towards the worker. These are very serious accusations, but if you watch the video, none of those things are true. Michael Irvin is not aggressive. He's not vulgar. The only touching he does is her arm, which isn't really a sexual advance. It looks like a friendly conversation. Even if Michael Irvin made an inappropriate comment, he's still innocent of what they're saying he did. They said he was aggressive, out of control. Now, just if if you being sexually assaulted, Mm -hmm. are you standing there? No, no, shaking his hand in agreeance, Not laughing, enough. kicking your foot up. The hell is this? All, all these are signs when you understand. Understand, she is very comfortable to me. <laughs> very comfortable. Very comfortable. She was ready for the swirl. And this, and this is this is another reason why God's laws are are so important. You know what I'm saying? Like this is why we have to come back to God's laws because God's laws protect us. From this, it protects the woman from this. It protects the man from this. And we are reading Exodus. What is it? Twenty? Is it twenty-five? Twenty-four? Twenty. Uh, you know what I want? What you looking for? Uh, about you right. supposed to know what he want, bro? <laughs> What's going on, bro? It's like twenty. Study, bro. You gotta study. Deuteronomy. Mm-hmm. There we go. Deuteronomy Thank you. Thank you, somebody. You know what I'm saying? Help me. Help me. You know what I'm saying? This is what is supposed to help us. You know what I'm saying? When we, so we don't get confused on this. No, it's not do that. It's, oh, boy. Come on, man. Uh, Bruh. When a woman cried out. It's Exodus, ain't it? Oh, I got you. Uh, Deuteronomy 22. 22. 22. Yeah. Verse uh, 25. Thank you. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 25. Bring it up. But if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field, and the man force her, and force her, read, and lie with her. I'm sorry. Read. Then the man only that lay with her shall die. Read. But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing. There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. For as when a man riseth against his neighbor and slayeth him, 
even so is the matter. So this is talking about being forced, but read verse 27 is the point. For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried, and there was none to save her. She cried. Don't you think if God's laws was in effect, if she felt like she was being sexually harassed, she cries in the middle of a... Uh, a hotel, hotel lobby, lobby. Yeah. somebody would come and be like, hey, what's going on? Mm-hmm. What's the problem here? This is why God's laws need to be in effect because without God's laws, there is no protection. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They can say whatever they want to say. Yep. If we up. was following God's laws, we would know like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, there needs this this person didn't cry out. This, this ain't real. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be no... Uh, False accusations if they said, hey, look, you didn't cry out. Ain't nothing we could do. Then when it really happened, people would cry out like they supposed to. And there would be no false accusations because they would be crying out. So another reason why God's laws are so important. Mm-hmm. Play, uh, you play the rest of the video? We're going to go to 514. Yes, sir. No, just play. Stop it. Troll. Drunk and that he was making multiple sexual advances towards the woman, and it's simply not true. Touching someone's arm in a conversation is not a sexual advance, and nothing Michael Irvin did matches up with what they're saying he did. And the witness testimonies match Michael Irvin's story, not the female employee, who of course decided to remain anonymous so she doesn't have to be held accountable for her actions. Stop. Now, why all these women remain anonymous? Right. (laughs) Why it, it, uh, how are they allowed to be anonymous? If you come with an accusation, you gotta come. You gotta come state your facts. You gotta show, hey, this is what it is. Bring it I ain't embarrassed of it. It's what it is. You shouldn't be embarrassed of it. If you're going through something, you need to come out and speak for it. If something happened to you, you need to speak on it. But she knew that she was lying. That's or, what she knew. You understand? And that's another in their spirit a false accusation. Give me that thing in uh, Revelations 21 and 10 right quick. Hey, also, you got to think about that, too. Michael Irvin was one of the best players to play on America's team. Yeah. So if there was any way to make an example out of a black person, this would be the man to this do This is it. that guy. So, of course, somebody got to her and was like, listen, this is what's going to happen, and you're going to go with it. Mm-hmm. And if you say something, something going to happen to you. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Let's, let's play that thing. I mean, let's read that. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 10. Bring it up. And he carried me away in the spirit mm-hmm. to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city. Hold on. That, that ain't what I want. That ain't what I want. I want uh, the accuser. Uh, Revelations uh, 12, 12 and 10. My bad. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10. Yep. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, mm-hmm. now is come salvation. Now is come. Because proper to, uh, contrary to popular belief, you Negroes ain't saved. Right. You ain't saved. As long as we in the land of America, and I'm talking to you on on a Monday at 1237, we started, but we st- supposed to start at 1230. <laughs> but as long as that's happening, you in captivity. <laughs> Read on. Now is come salvation. Come on. And strength. Come on. And the kingdom of our God. Come on. And the power of his Christ. Go ahead. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. You see that? For the accuser of our brethren. They've been accusing us day and night. Day and night. The the Lord, when he comes back, he ain't just coming back to save us. He coming back to cast uh, uh, Edomite down. That's why they call him a big (laughs) one. You know what I'm saying? The cast... Casting <laughs> down. Give me that. Uh, what's that precept in um Psalms? Psalms fifty one, right? 51. Yeah, Psalms fifty one. Give me that precept. So, I mean Psalms fifty. In verse uh nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psalms chapter fifty in verse nineteen. Right. Old Testament, New Testament. Read. Right? Thou givest thy mouth to evil. This is what the jump up to when it says the wicked. Verse, verse 50, sixteen. Read. Right? But unto the wicked, God said. This talking about the same person, that same accuser that John was talking about describing in the book of Revelations. David is saying the same thing. Unto the who? Unto the wicked, uh-huh. God said. Mm-hmm. What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? He said, what you got to do to declare my statutes? Why is he saying this? Jump down to where I want it. Verse 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil. Because you give your mouth to evil. <laughs> Everything that come out. We can name, can name countless of young brothers that died off a false accusation behind a white woman. Yep. How many brothers is in prison, in jail, 
behind a false accusation behind a white woman. Hey, listen, the ADL started because of a false accusation, accusation. of a black man. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? They made the black man take the rap for, for, the, for the so-called Jewish man killing mm-hmm. that lady. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's how they got their start. Because they, oh, no, you're not going to put our people in trouble. You better put that Negro in trouble. Yeah. And you st- and they still accusing us falsely. When they say that we a hate group, who the hell we didn't we didn't lynch? <laughs> I ain't been on the damn I ain't been on a a, a a lynch a lynching my whole life. You understand who we didn't drug out their house, put a shotgun in they and blew they blew their damn uh, brains out in front of the family. Right. None of us. Mm-mm. Who we didn't raped? None of us. What crosses yeah. have we burned? What in crosses? Front of these, yeah. What, what manures we didn't burnt in your in your uh in your damn uh, um line line. You understand? Ain't none of us. Half of the brothers scared to blow their damn trumpets after the new moon. <laughs> damn. <in> the <laughs> but we a hate group. Yeah. You understand? Read it again. Thou givest thy mouth to evil mm-hmm. and thy tongue. Y'all know I ain't tell- Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You know, brothers blow it, blow the trumpet hard at the school. <laughs> Hard at the school. Get to their Ask the brothers how many times you done blew the trumpet in your backyard. Right. <laughs> Quiet. How many times you put decorations up on the new Quiet. movie? Quiet. Man. You understand? You got to go out there and let it ring. They let it ring on July 4th. You got to sit there and you got to take that. Right. You got to take that. <laughs> they got to take it too. So so when the new moon come around, you got to take this one. You know, this is tick for tack right here. Right? Hey, they should, they should just take it every Sabbath. Every, hey, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, we, the scripture say blow up the trumpet on the new moon. Well, at least on the new moon, blow up the trumpet. Come on, read it again. Thou givest thy mouth to evil. Come on. And thy tongue frameth deceit. And your tongue, they, t- t- this white man, this the wicked, they frame deceit. It's another play. Another modern day lynching. You understand? Right. Can I read verse 20? Yep, okay, verse go ahead. Verse 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Mm, go ahead. Thou slanderest thine own that mother's what? Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. And this is what they had this is what they did to the brother Michael Irvin. That's slander. That's slander. You you cost this man millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Took him off the network. The brother about to cry because he can't report on the football game. Mm-hmm. Millions of dollars. And he should sue. He should sue not only Marriott. He should sue the NFL network. Yep. Sue everybody that got a hand in it. And he, he will win. Yep. Because that's slander. And that's in their nature. This is what you get when you read the Bible. When you don't have blind dogs in front of you. You understand? Give me the next video. Watch this. I'm going to show you. This is, re- this, is a, this is the result of Christianity. Start at 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Listen to these, these brothers. This is Chris Bouchard. I'm not sure who the other brothers, what the other brother's name is. Rob Parker. Parker. Rob Parker. Okay, listening to listen to their reasoning. Go ahead. In the tape, his lawyer saw the tape, Rob, but wasn't able to show it to uh, Michael Irvin. And his lawyer said it's nonsense when he saw the tape. Uh, what are your thoughts? Because it is. Yeah, Rob. I mean, this is a tough spot. I mean, uh, I I don't, you know, like this is. He said, she said. People bring in witnesses all the time in defense of cases. I've seen everything. I, I, this, the, the thing that I guess I believe is the bad part for Michael Irvin is his history. Right. Stop. And I think because of his history. Stop. Now, I want y'all, I want to plant certain things mm. in your mind. Yep. What's the first thing that they brought up? His history. His history, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I want to plant, I'm just planting seeds in your mind to understand the reasoning. This is that's the first thing they thought about his history. Now watch this. Jump to five thirty four, just for time's sake. We we kind of ran over. Five thirty four. Watch this. Always remember uh, who you talk to and all that stuff. But I think, look, he obviously used an extreme example. Um, yes, I'm with you on that. That's extreme. Yeah, I mean, it's an extreme example. Uh, thankfully, there's nothing that's not happening on a regular Stop. basis. Now. I want you to go back. We're going to play it again because we might have missed what that extreme example. What was the extreme example Michael Irvin used? The lynching. Lynching. Mm-hmm. Now, how is that? Now, now think about it. The first thing when they brought up Michael Irvin, what did they go to? His history. His history. His history. Yep. When you get to the, list, the lynching, the extreme example, or, or, or what he used as far as the lynching, mm-hmm. that's extreme. 
<laughs> Let's not remember that history. <laughs> Play it again. All the time. And you don't always remember uh, who you talk to and all that stuff. But I think, look, he obviously used an extreme example. Um, yes. I'm with you on that. That's extreme. I, yeah, I mean, it's an extreme example. Uh, thankfully, there's nothing that's not happening on a regular basis hey, now. Hey, stop. Uh, he said, thankfully, that's not happening on a regular, regular basis now, right? On a regular basis. On a regular basis now, right? But you got to understand, Chris Boussard is one of those dumb dogs. Yeah. Bring it up. He he is he was in that um documentary um Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Unseen. Unseen, yep. Unseen or whatever that unspoken. document Unspoken. Whatever that documentary is. Uh praising a white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? He 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 uh really fancies himself as a Christian, as a mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like as he's a follower of Christ, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But he does it according to his masters. He does it according to uh, the um, the the lies that he's been told. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when you hear him on Fox Sports, that's a perfect place for him on Fox. You know what I'm saying? Because he's reiterating uh, what his master has told right. him to say yeah. over and over again. His handlers. You know, his handlers has told him to say, as far as white supremacy, he, inf- he reinforces that thing. Mm-hmm. And he's done it over and over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? And this is why you can't listen to people like him because they don't want to deal with the truth. The Bring truth up. is is that this happens time and time and time again. Mm-hmm. It, it never stopped happening. Then that's the realness of it. It's not an exaggerated example. It is an example. Right. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. It's a valid valid, it's a valid point he said, that Michael Irvin made. He said, um, thank God it's not happening now, but you got Bill Cosby. Mm-hmm. You got all these examples of black men who's been accused of um, false accusations mm-hmm. and being charged. But and like you said, they blind. They don't see. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 something, it's something about the older generation that – because I, I I get in arguments, or I ain't gonna say arguments. I get in debates with my father all the time because he'll he'll say, "Well, things are getting, things are better than in your time than they were in our time." I'm like, "No, it's not better. It's the Hell same. No. It's just that our is in my time they have accepted it more well, than I'll they did in your worse. time." Yeah, it's, it's worse, worse. because it's, worse. it's mental. Yeah, it's more of a mental thing now. I, Back in the day, they had to physically beat you down and strip it out of you, but now your spirit is gone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you 100 percent right, I officer. It worse. is worse. I'd rather you come tell me, "Hey, I hate you, nigga." <laughs> right. Then to get on, then to sit yep. next to me. Yep. Then the march, then march, march, march next, next to me, <laughs> knowing <laughs> damn well. <laughs> Hey, this nigga ain't coming to my house and eating no damn. Damn. Thing. Right. You understand? And At what's least. and what's crazy is Joe. We didn't talk about this earlier. We was talking about Biden, right? How he um, is was down there trying to get votes, right? Yeah. But this the same person that is setting up to hey, you can't say nothing about um, Amalek. Mm-hmm. You can't say nothing. He's setting laws in place Task for force. you to say that you can't call yourself a Jew. Right. Damn. Now is this truth coming out? Who do you think that's going to affect? Because we proven that we the Israelites day in and day out in the scripture showing who we are. Mm-hmm. But this the dude that's walking hand in hand with you. South come out, hey, let's vote, let's vote, let's vote. So he can get in office so he can set up rules that you can't even call yourself to, by your God-given name. To right. keep, uh, man. Yeah, to keep you lost. To keep you dumb. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what's crazy about it. And you walking hand in hand. Hey, we best friends. Yep. Stop it. Play, play on. Um, but he's saying, because if if he's let's say that this, you know, he was he didn't do anything wrong, and he is um, you know, people believe he's guilty, he loses his jobs on the networks and, and things like that. Um, it would be taken he would be suffering a huge loss based on he said, she said. That's the connection, but he definitely took it to an extreme level. Um, but I, I do, I hear you. I mean, we always talk about it, Rob. We use an NBA example. If Draymond Green uh, is accused of volatile behavior, yep, people are going to 
be, believe it a lot easier than it say if Steph Curry, the, the, just because of your history, or your Dylan history Brooks plays, if right. he's a cute, right? You know, I mean, whether it's fair or not, Chris, yeah. I, I just and I, like, I and I think in this case, I think it's fair generally because your damn, track record. What? But you stop! I, I want y'all to under, I, don't, I, I want y'all to feel yeah, understand the reasoning that's going on in the black man in America. Mm. The brother just made a case of why it's okay to slander Michael Irvin based off his history. Will Michael Irvin give you an example of what actually happened in history? They call it extreme. Exactly. You better shut your black lips. They call it ex- extreme. We can't use their history, but Negro use his history against him, bro. Yep. What the hell is this? This is a this is a damn. Give me Jeremiah right quick, bro. I think it's a. Are we a home-born slave? Yeah, two Jeremiah 14. 2, man. This should, this should really piss you off. This is our black men today in America, in society, without God's laws, without the spirit of God, based on Christianity. This is why we played that video first. Yep. We declared the end from the beginning of the show. <laughs> Read what you got. Start up, start up if I think... Uh, Have they changed their gods, man? Yeah, have they changed their gods? Read quick. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 11. Go ahead. Have the nation changed their gods? Yep. Which are yet no gods? We changed gods to gods that Caesar Borgir is not a god. Right. Mm -hmm. Judas is not a god. The damn cement cement brick that you go to the Mecca (laughs) and you you walk around it and bow to it, that is a rock, nigga. That is no (laughs) no god. That is no god. (laughs) <laughs> the, the 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 most high sent the wind through the damn stadium because that's where they at. They had a stadium through the damn stadium. It took the top off of it. Everybody seen it was a rock, <laughs> <laughs> and nobody said nothing. Everybody, damn, I didn't see it. I didn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, no, he was. In it. It's a rock. <laughs> so the scriptures is saying what? Read it again. Had the nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? Yes. Go ahead. But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. He said we changing our glory th- to things that don't profit us. <laughs> Voting hasn't profited us right. at all. Nope. You understand? Being able to go and sit at the same table as the Edomite has not profited us at all. Give me some more. Be astonished, O ye heavens. The Lord said what? Be astonished. Oh, ye heavens. Well, you know when the Lord say be astonished, that's, that's some heavy stuff right there. <laughs> yeah. It ain't too much that he can say be astonished. He said, man, be astonished at what's going on. Yeah. Read. Come on. Be astonished, oh, ye heavens, at this. Go ahead. And be horribly afraid. <laughs> Go ahead. Be ye very desolate, said the Lord. Mm-hmm. For my people have committed two evils. He said my people committed two evils. Go ahead. They have forsaken me. When you forsake God of this Bible, the black Messiah and his laws, The Bible says, the Lord says, that's evil. Read, come on. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water. Go ahead. And hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns. When you go to idolatry to these other gods, that's evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Broken sisters that can't hold no damn water. Can't say this self. You got Northern Kingdom. Here come the damn flood coming through. Flood they whole town. Northern Kingdom is holding Sister Mary and running through the damn flood. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make this up, bro. It's not working. They holding Buddhists, picking Buddhists up, and running, holding Buddhists on top of the flood. <laughs> holding him up like this. Might drown. <laughs> Nigga, who's saving who? <laughs> <laughs> little as hell. You you know you know the little Mexicans. They only five eleven, five five. You know four four eleven. I'm sorry. Holding holding a damn statue above water. They can't even breathe. Statue big. You know they they breathe it. <laughs> That's what Bell and the Dragon was all about. You understand? That's what the Lord is saying, man. We are, we we going to these idols. They can't hold water. They got no substance. Yeah. That's evil. Read, is that, is that it? Broken cisterns that can hold no water. Go ahead. Is Israel a servant? Damn. Is he a homeborn slave? That's a rhetorical question. <laughs> That's a rhetorical question. Damn, are y'all, are y'all, are you niggas servants? <laughs> are y'all just slaves? Are y'all comfortable Damn. with society as it is? Mm-hmm. Are you, com- are you comfortable, uh, um, 
eating like what you say uh food deserts in your in your community yeah, yeah. you can't yeah. build yeah. no you can't build no businesses and, and i just damn an entrepreneur spirit just hit me you know well, i'm an entrepreneur i ain't i don't have to i don't work for the white man nigga you pay taxes right hey, tax stop paying your property tax yep. for for three years and, and don't renew your business every happens. year don't yeah. mess up on mess up on your w-2s on section three and see <laughs> don't an audit come down the pipe <laughs> <laughs> see if you see if you sovereign then hey this brother though he's the proof when they say is israel a homeborn slave he this brother basically said an allegation is good enough to confirm to confirm the allegation bam uh, allegation, the, the light skinned brother. Oh, uh, he basically sure. said it's, it's yeah. a reason, it's reasonable. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He said basically, this hey, an allegation is enough. It's based there, on their history, based on the history. Based on your history, you could be you, hey, and, and no laws, no nothing. He hasn't been convicted, hasn't been proven guilty, but he said an allegation is good enough. It's good hey, enough. How ironic is that? So, why is not the allegation that the, the Esau is the devil the Bible speaks of is not good enough? That's how much stuff enough. have they done throughout history where it's right in front of your face, right in your face? Don't get it. Give me that next article. Y'all got some? Give me that next article. I'm telling you, man, the reason in the black men, bro, modern day lynching going on. Michael Urban was 100% right. 100% right with, with what he said, man. Read, it up. Read, uh, read that. Let's read this. History of lynching in America. Mm -hmm. White Americans use lynching to terrorize and control black people in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Mm -hmm. hey, we, we got to hold on real quick. We got to really take a moment to let that sink in. When it says they used it to terrorize and control black people. Damn. Damn. They used it to terrorize and control black people. Out, you got to understand the reason why these things keep happening over and over again <laughs> is to show you who's in control. Who's the boss? Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you that it, it's a playbook that's in their spirit that mm -hmm. they've been doing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to show you all some history. Can I? Let's go to 2 Maccabees. 2 Maccabees, chapter 14. And I think I want to start at verse 37. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 14 and verse 37. Bring it Hold on, let me get there real quick. Make sure. Um, 37, yeah. Now there was accused unto Nicanor, one Razis, one of the elders of Jerusalem. So you got to understand who Nicanor was. He was a general sent to destroy the Jews. Let's mm -hmm. keep it short and sweet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Razis was a high priest that was very um, fervent for the Lord, right? A lover of his countrymen and a man of very good report. It says he was a lover of his countrymen. He loved his people and he was of good report, right? Who for his kindness was called a father of the Jews. So... This is a leader. This is a. This ain't a dumb dog. This is a real leader, a real pillar in the community. He loved his people. He wanted to see good things happen for his people, right? For in the former times, when they mingled not themselves with the Gentiles, he had been accused of Judaism and did boldly jeopard his body and life with all vehemence. This is a real leader. Mm that cares about his people. He said, I'm not mixing with them. Mm -hmm. We ain't segregating. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you rightly how to deal. He vehemently wanted to be for his people. He vehemently wanted to uh, follow the laws of God, right? Mm -hmm. And boldly jeopard his body and life with all He people. didn't mind that he might have died. Mm -hmm. He didn't mind putting his life on his line for the people so that make sure that they understood how important they were, who right. they were, right? with all vehemency for the religion of the Jews. So Nicanor, willing to declare the hate that he bear unto the Jews. So now Nicanor gets a, a thought in his mind. All right, how can I show my hatred for these Jews? How can I, how can I really up the ante on, on my evilness? What can I do? Read, sent above 500 men of war to take him, for he thought, by taking him to do the Jews much hurt. So he said, if I take one of their leaders, if I if I take and I do something bad to one of their leaders, that's going to cause hurt to them. 
That's going to cause them to be in fear. That's going to cause them to revert and follow after me. Damn. That's terrorism. Yeah, that's heavy. That's that is terrorism. Mm-hmm. That's what happens to our people on a day-to-day basis. That's why when you read the Willie Lynch letter, it said take the biggest, the baddest buck, mm-hmm. strip them down in front of everybody mm-hmm. so that, that everybody else will follow. Yep. And it's, it's documented in the scriptures that that's what they do. Mm-hmm. That's a cold precept. You understand? And, and like you said, man, <laughs> all you got to do is open up your Bible and read it, and you will see this history. You'll start to see the pitfalls that's in front of you. You'll start to see the playbook and how to escape out of, out of what's going on in this society, man. All right, go back to that article right quick. That's a heavy point. What are lynchings? Mm-hmm. A lynching is the public killing of an individual who has not received any due process. Mm -hmm. I think that's what Michael Irvin was explaining. sounds about right. Go ahead. These executions were often carried out by lawless mobs, Mm -hmm. though police officers did participate. Okay, so Michael Irvin is right again. Lawless mob, meaning the media. Mm -hmm. Yep, go ahead. Under the pretext of justice. Under the let's, let's, let's get, let's fire this Negro. You understand? This Negro has sexually assaulted one of our own under the pretense of justice. We doing the, we doing justice according to our laws. The hell is Go this? ahead. Lynchings were violent public acts that white people used to terrorize and control black people in the 19th and 20th century. Even before then, but go ahead. Particularly in the South. Lynchings typically evolve. No, not particularly in the, all across America. Everywhere. Yes. Because we got records to show, y'all, they, like you said, uh, with the Syrians, used to hang us on the wall. Mm-hmm. Hang us. This been going on. Mm-hmm. We just read in the Maccabees how they did it. Go ahead. Lynchings typically evoke images of black men and women hanging from trees. Mm. But they involve other extreme brutality, such as torture, mutilation. We just read this in Second Maccabees. Maccabees 7, Go ahead. Yeah. Decapitation. Damn. And desecration. Damn. Some victims were burned alive. Yep. Can we talk that. about the uh, Spanish Inquisition? Mm-hmm. Yep. Go ahead. A typical lynching involved a criminal. You got that? You got that? Uh, that photo? Yeah. Every IUIC should have a photo. Should have a photo. <laughs> should have a photo. That, get that photo right, bro. Every might get a visit. IUIC might should got a visit. A photo. Might get a visit you, one day, I got bro. You. <laughs> you should have that photo, bro. Might get a visit one day. We better be ready, bro. Bring it up. Because they think they Can't think this only right. this only uh happened to um Negroes. You know? That's what society say. This this only happened to the to the Negroes, to the black folks. Lynchings. Yeah, happened to all twelve tribes. All twelve tribes. You got it? No, nah, he ain't got it. He ain't got it. Mm. He ain't got it. Mm. All you gotta do is type in um like conquistadors um hanging. Minus the S. Can't even, can't even spell conquista. There you yeah, go. Put him out there like that, man. <laughs> put that on the screen. <clears throat> Ain't that what they see? Burn him at the stake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That on the screen. Suppose, let me know when it's up there. Okay, this is what they've been doing. Look on the, on, the, on the top left. You got the brother tied to a stake. Got the mocking. fire burning in the back. Yep. You understand? This is what they've been doing. Uh, what's that book with uh about Ponce de Leon when they came over and they was burning destruction us by the of the West Indies destruction of the West Indies they was burning us by the by thirteens yeah yep for yeah the twelve tribes and one for Christ and one yep. for Christ yep hey that's the picture you want right there make sure you say that Mike hey while we talking about this give me those give me those TikTok videos of um it's a car and then we gonna come back yeah because you you one hundred percent right bringing that up because. You, you would think that it was just so-called African Americans going through this. No, mm-hmm. the twelve tribes went through this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The twelve tribes went through this. Judah and Israel were oppressed together. Together. <laughs> Read that scripture. Matter of fact, bring that out, officer. Jeremiah. Bring that out, Jeremiah. Uh, what is it? Fifty and thirty-one, thirty-three. Jeremiah chapter fifty and verse thirty-three. Thus saith the Lord of hosts: the children of Israel and the children of Judah. 
were oppressed together. So, man, that's one, th- that's one trick America likes to use, is trying to separate so-called blacks and so-called uh, Hispanics. No, we all went through the same tortures together. Mm-hmm. So while we was getting hung, y'all was getting hung the same way. Mm-hmm. Just having mobs hanging uh, its car the same way. So we got to stop this separation, bro, and that's one, one way. If a house is divided, the house is not going to be able to stand. That's one, that's one thing Esau understands. So, mm-hmm. hey, we, uh, we went through the same oppressions. Hey, same thing with Gad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When the uh, uh, Englishmen came over here, you know what I'm saying? They was hanging them as well, calling them savages when they was the first ones doing the scalping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, play that video. I might have to go, go back out and uh, probably button at the top. Did you know that 40 years before the lynching of the 14-year-old African-American boy Emmett Till in Mississippi, there was the lynching of a 14-year-old Mexican-American boy in Texas? On June 19, 1911, in Thorndale, Texas, Antonio Gomez, a child of Mexican migrants, carved pieces of wood as he made his way home and walked on the sidewalk. As he passed the saloon, the white owner scolded him for littering. Other white men there cursed at Antonio and backed the owner. When Antonio tried to leave, one of the white men took a piece of wood that Antonio had been whittling and began striking Antonio. The rest of the white men laughed and out of self-defense, Antonio stabbed the man who was striking him with wood. Antonio stabbed him using the exact same knife he had used to whittle wood. The white man eventually died from his wounds and a constable who happened to be nearby immediately placed Antonio in a calaboose. When word got around town, the constable moved Antonio to a gin house to protect him from any angry white mobs. Antonio was only 14 years old so he couldn't legally be executed for his actions. Just a few hours after being arrested, an angry white mob did in fact find Antonio. Antonio did try to run, but he was grabbed by some men and horsemen. They dragged him around town, tied to the back of a buggy, and into the middle of town, where hundreds of people watched him get beat, kicked, and lynched. At one point, he fell, gasping for air, but they still continued to kick him. The Mexican community and the Mexican government voiced its outrage and... Pause. You see that? A public mocking. Yep. Yep. Same with our Issachar brothers, our Northern Kingdom brothers. Hey, Google uh, live lynching, because I want their faces, man. Google live lynchings. Hey, also, you know what's crazy about that video? That's the exact same thing that happened to Emmett Till. Yeah. They dragged him, and this was the playbook they went off of. Mm-hmm. Hey. Look at this. This was like a damn family outing. A scroll up so they can see see the hanging. You all, all we can see is the feet. Now that's it. Look at this. But you see her feet. Uh, put your, um, your cursor by her feet. Put that on the screen. Nah, there's two of them hanging. There's two of them hanging. To the left, too, yep. Hey, and they, they all there, smiling, cheesing. Jerry Jones was there. Yeah, Jerry right. Jones was there. Ah, uh, dang. <laughs> Jerry Jones damn. was Yeah, he was, he was a part of it. Yeah, he was. Hey, hey, another hey. way you know they're the same people. Remember, Herod was going to do that to Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. He was going to make him a public display. This, they've yep. been doing this through history. Hey, can I pull something real quick? Yeah. Let me get Lamentations, Chapter 5. It's proven, like um, we read through the history, this happened to all 12 tribes of Israel. We all went through the same curses. Start at verse 1. We're going to jump around. Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. So Jeremiah is saying, hey, Lord, remember everything that came upon us. And we, as a nation of people, we have to remember also. Keep going. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. And our house is to aliens. It says our inheritance is turned to strangers and our house to aliens. So just think about Northern Kingdom. When you read Second Ezra, the Lord blessed Northern Kingdom with this side of the land. But who took the land? Who took who took everything from Northern Kingdom? The Spaniards, the um Esau. When you look at Africa, because remember, we fled into Africa in 70 AD. Who colonized Africa? The same people. Keep going. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. Keep going. We have drunken our water for money. Uh Uh-huh. Our wood is sold unto us. Our wood is sold unto us. So all our natural resources, this is colonization. Right. This happened to Northern Kingdom and this happened to Southern Kingdom. Keep going. Hey, jump down to verse 8. Verse 8. Servants have ruled over us. So God is telling you these people that colonized us, that enslaved us, 
These were supposed to originally be servants, but now they're ruling over us. Keep going. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hands. So guess what? Your po- your politics, your religion, it's the same thing. We got a phone call? Go ahead. Okay, give me verse 11. Verse 11. 11 and 12. Go ahead. They ravished the women in Zion. So this is colonization. They raped the women. They raped, That's what they did. They even did it to our children. Keep going. And the maids in the cities of Judah. Read. Princes are hanged. Up by their hands. What did they mm. do to the Northern Kingdom? They hung them by the twelves and another one to represent Christ. Keep going. Princes are hanged up by their hands. Uh-huh. The faces of elders were not honored. Keep going. They took the young men to grind. Uh-huh. And the children fell under the wood. They enslaved us. They put us to work. And this was what happened to the elder generation right here. Verse 14. The elders have ceased from the gate. And now when you look at it, after all of this happened, slavery and colonization, our elders... They don't even want to remember this history. Mm-hmm. They don't even want to put this history in, inside of the, the youth. And now we just going, it's, we going into a ring. Everything is going round and round. The same thing is being done. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to that article. That's a good point. Out the scriptures. Clear. Clear as day. What's going to happen? Now, just go back to the article for time's sake. A typical lynching. A typical lynching involved a criminal accusation, an arrest, and the assembly of a mob. And that's what we've seen. Those <laughs> those photos, the assembly of a mob. They out there laughing, joking, mm-hmm. having a good time of this lynching. Mm-hmm. Chris Bouchard forgot this. What was his other name? Rob Parker? Yeah. Rob Parker. Yeah. They forgot this. This 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 history don't mean anything. Mm-hmm. Read on. Followed by seizure, Mm -hmm. physical torment, Mm -hmm. and murder of the victim. Mm -hmm. Lynchings were often public spectacles. Damn, go ahead. Attended by the white community. Intended by the, so so they put out damn flyers, postcards. Listen, we lynching this nigga at 3 o'clock. Bring your Be out here, and you better be on time. We're going to have hot dogs. And we're going to have hot dogs and everything (laughs) for the girls. Hey, you know how they do the spectacle today? Mm-hmm. A Netflix special. A Netflix, <laughs> yeah. Damn. That's a spectacle. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's on your Facebook Live. Yep, yep. It's on hey. your, it's your Fox One News. World mm-hmm. star. Hey, also, listen. This is Esau's playbook, so we'd be remiss to think that this same stuff is not going to happen to us. Yep. They're going to take us. They're going to make a spectacle out of us because we the ones that's tormenting this world right now. Yes, Bring sir. And they gonna, they gonna and listen, what you just said is heavy. They're going to put things in place that's real. to bring this right on oh, back. Sleepy Joe. Yep. Right sleepy. on back. Them task matter forces fact, that mob. Matter of fact, officer, since you said it, <laughs> give me them my first TikTok video of the lynchings. Watch this. You said they public spectacles, man. They mocking us. This is what they want. Watch this. This is 2023. Play that thing. You got to mute it. Thank you, Chairman. And uh, thank you, Representative Powers, for bringing this. I think it's a very good idea. And I was just wondering about, uh, could I put an amendment on that? It would include hanging by a tree also. And uh, and also, uh, I would like to sign on to your bill, sir. Thank you. Hold on, pause it and run it the back. This? Cause maybe, cause maybe, maybe you didn't hear what I heard uh-huh. when I when I when I first came across this video. So play, play it back and let's listen to it one more again. This is in hold on. This is in twenty twenty three. Yeah. This is your politics. This is your politics. This, this is who you vote. This who right. you dying to vote for. Yeah, this, is your, this is your Tennessee House representative. Yes. yes. Let's go. Thank you, Chairman. And uh, thank you, Representative Powers, for bringing this. I think it's a very good idea. And I was just wondering about, uh, could I put an amendment on that? It would include hanging by a tree also. He said. And, uh, and also, uh, I would like to sign on to your bill, sir. Thank you. Watch the black man at the end. Leader Sheriff. <laughs> he threw the mic. He said, Damn. He said, let me add, I want to add something to your bill. Let me add a lynching by a tree to your bill. Hell no. This is why the scripture says oppression makes a wise man mad. Right. Bro. You seen the anger in that black man right there, bro. You seen it. Because he he understands, he understands the vibration of what he just said. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's mocking him. 
in front of everybody. Mm-hmm. You when you talk about a public lynching, just like when you out, you out, man. I don't know about y'all, man. I remember uh, we was having this little meeting at, at work with all the the head of contractors and stuff, right? Yeah. And the the G the GC the general the head guy, he made a con- he made a comment like, man, uh, if he's late, we just going we just gonna take him out, take him out in the front and, and hang him up on on the tree. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, bro. And this is when I first, you know, when you first come into the truth, yeah. and you are, and you All got that, zeal. you got that rage and that zeal, <laughs> and, and you don't, it's just a line, you don't really know how to tame it. Uh, right. You understand? He said that shit. I'm like, bro, I'm like, what, like what the. What, what would make you say some stuff like that? Hey, you probably right. was the only black man in the meeting. I'm the only. No, it's me and another, me and another uh, Jake dude. Yeah. This nigga started laughing. The Jake dude? He started yeah. laughing like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bro. Yeah, no. Ain't nothing funny about that. Ain't nothing funny about what you just, what, what would even make you say some stuff like that? Mm. Come on, you know man. I'm saying? And of course, you know, everybody look at me like, yeah, you, you the, angry the angry black guy. Angry black yeah. guy. You yep. understand? But I felt at that moment, I, I had to stand up for 400 years right there, bro. <laughs> you understand? Ooh. Walked out the trailer, slammed it. You know what I'm saying? Then, that's all I could do. What else could I do? <laughs> but these are the little comments that's made. That's the frustration that you see. In the in the black dude, when you make a comment like that on, on the house in the house in the house in the house, give me the next one. Why he made the comment? What what are they talking about? What bill is he trying to add to it? These people are some evil ass people, bro. Bruh. Play that. They trying to make America great again. They trying to make America yeah. great. That's all it is. Listen to this. Coming down from Capitol Hill tonight after comments a state lawmaker made this week about a bill to add a firing squad as a way to execute death row prisoners in Tennessee. Stop. During an open meeting. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop, bro. And that just, is terrorism. Yeah, rewind, bro. Nah. Rewind. That is terrorism. <laughs> listen, listen. They are unsuccessful with executing uh, uh, criminals with uh, just lethal drugs, injection. lethal yeah. injection, and stuff like that. So, so obviously the criminals are suffering. Um, Damn, it's a movie. Uh, for a law abiding citizen. For me to be thinking about all these movies when mm-hmm. I don't watch movies like right. that, it's, a, it's amazing right now, bro. But law abiding citizen, when yeah. he was he was struggling, mm-hmm. you understand? This is what's going on. So, and their reasoning and their thought, their thinking process, how do we curve this? Mm-hmm. Let's have a damn firing squad. This is 2023. Crazy. Let's have a fire squad. Let's let's put this. Let's this put, is the reasoning. Let's put him up against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Clear. Ha! Come on, man. <laughs> Twenty one guns. At salute. the same time, they want to take they want to take the ARs. They want to take everything away. Yeah. yeah. But they want to have a damn firing squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, play on. Watch because this. because it's not enough. That's it's not enough shit, to bro. to just put it in his veins and let let him pass on now. They let can't him, get that, it right, that, officer. <laughs> they can't even get that right. Damn. They can't get no, it right. I'm saying, I'm saying it is 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 not enough. Mm-hmm. You, you know, they want to see suffering. You, they want to see suffering. They like you got you have to suffer. They, they like so they want to take your last Cuz they want cuz they want the fear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, have to see the nah. fear. They want to be like, "Hey, we will hang yo." You know what I'm saying? Like because that's quick. You know what I'm saying? If you got to go through all the process of a hey, death row and this and that and then put a, put a needle in their arm when they say, "Hey, Let's bring back lynching. You can have portable lynchings on the on the on the corner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what they trying to get to. They like, hey, we, we want to have a lynching center on every corner. Yep. Damn. You know what I'm saying? This is what we we trying to move to this. We yep. don't want no slow, gotta lay you on the bed. We want to be able to have the money. paddy wagon right. on the corner. Yep. With a with a rope and noose, you know what I'm saying, Ropes and handle their business. <laughs> Come hey, on, man. Ropes is recyclable. Yeah. And that's the, all that's this way is, cheaper. All, all this is for the Israelites, brothers. Yeah. All this is for the Israelites. You understand? They thinking about ways to torture us because why? We bringing out this truth. Yeah. Understanding who you are is the most dangerous thing on this earth. Understanding that you, the child of God, that you're Israelite. That's the most dangerous thing on the earth. Forget being a gangster. Right. <laughs> Forget that. That ain't got yeah. nothing. Just under declaring that you a Jew. Oh no, nah, we got to bring the firing squad. Nope. Back. Also, you got to think about it too. That lethal injection. That's that's not that's boring. 
Yeah. They need something with more of a excitement. thrill. Yeah, they need, they need they that trying thrill to go back again. to the fourth. Hey. They, they remember when they fought, when their parents was taking them to public lynchings, yeah. how excited it was how when the nigga was. was shaking. Yeah. Yeah. Three was out there shaking. A community. And, and struggling. Yep. You can't you get understand? No, you and can't. this is, I'm telling y'all, man, like, when, when this stuff happens, you got to get in the mind frame of being able to watch, especially when I was talking to you about uh, my son, what, 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 what just happened. You got to be in the mind frame of being able to watch your children, your mm-hmm. relatives suffer and not break. That's what the woman did in 2nd yeah. Maccabees 7. Mm-hmm. And not break, not fold, and still talk boldly. Because that's where we that's where we gearing to. That's where we headed to. And a lot of us ain't in that ain't really in that mind frame. We not really thinking along those lines of what you gonna have to suffer when you sitting back and they are torturing your son in front of you, torturing your daughter in front of you, and they just want to see you break. Mm-hmm. Hey, also, especially these sisters, because you get our sisters think just because we the ones going out to camp that we take on the risk. No. Us going to camp as men is marking the whole household. It's marking everybody. And you saw, like, in the scripture, you, you just pulled in on 2nd Maccabees 7. Yeah. It was the woman. It was the woman there. All yeah. right, play on. It, it, it's funny that y'all bring that up because we was talking about that. Like, they're going to use that against you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you weak-minded, they're going to use that against you in the sense of to get your people to turn on Giving you. Giving up Because they're going to think that they're helping you. They're like, hey, if you don't turn them in, you know what I'm saying? We're going to lynch him. We're yeah. going to do We're this. You need you. to turn him in. Where did you know? he live? Where Where is he at? And your all- your family members. You trying to be all close to these non-believing family members right. that don't. You know what I'm saying? You still trying to hold on to. Hey, my mama. She don't really believe, but I like hanging out with her. I like going shopping with her and doing this with her. She's gonna be the one to give you up mm-hmm. because she's <laughs> thinking that she's doing the right thing because they're gonna come to her and be like, "You don't give us your daughter. <laughs> you don't give us your son." We we are Something going to hang him. We're <laughs> we're going to kill him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But if you just tell us where he is, we'll just bring him in for questioning. Yeah, and not and not and uh, this is what Second Ezra seven is going into where we both gonna go through straight the straight. Yeah, because they you know as black folks you might just think okay they gonna come down on the Israelites. No, nah, they coming they down coming on down people. on you too because yep. right, yep. you got the potential to wake up. Right. So they got to neutralize the threat. Yep. So so now when you get these unbelievers who's not prepared, who's going to these churches with blind dogs, you ain't you ain't ready for this torture. You ain't getting your mind together for this torture. When they get two unbelievers in the room and they say, okay, un- unless I give up somebody that believe, like you said, you got a nephew in the truth, unless I give this person up, I'm going to kill your daughter who they both hate you. They both hate your guts. Mm-hmm. And they're going to sacrifice you up every time. Every and that's time. what Damn. Christ is going into in Matthew 24. Mm-hmm. The love of many is going to wax old. Mm-hmm. Play on. Maker made this week about a bill to add a firing squad as a way to execute death row prisoners in Tennessee. During an open meeting, that lawmaker suggested another way to execute those inmates could be, quote, hanging by a tree. All right, it's February 28th. Welcome to the Criminal Justice Full Committee. It was a typical meeting on Capitol Hill. Hey, hold Hill. on. No, that's what, that's <laughs> heavy you just said that, officer. Hey, they do this the last day of Black History Month. Wow. We're going to get make this in. We're going to make this point. <laughs> we getting this in, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey, can I read a scripture real quick to set the tone? Give me Amos 1 and 11. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand the thought process that... You know that, and that's why I do. That's why the. That's, that's why, why Jake. So that's, why, that's why Jake just threw the mic. He threw like, the mic. You gonna do this on? You gonna do this on February 28th? You couldn't wait till March 1st <laughs> to introduce this, Damn. and I'm gonna show you why. Let's read Amos chapter one and verse eleven. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, Uh-oh. because he did pursue his brother. With the sword. They pursue us with the sword. This is them pursuing us with the sword. How can we kill niggas yeah. more efficiently? Mm. Oh, it's got to be better. You know, that that, that need the lethal injection. Uh, we, got, we got to go back to our roots. I mean, yeah. cool. He <laughs> did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity. He cast off all pity. That's, that's no pity to sit there on Facebook. February 28th, the last day of Black History Month, and say, all right, let's introduce a bill to bring back lynching, which when you bring up lynching to black people, 
there's a there's a connotation with it. Yeah. You know it affects black people. You, you see slave. a black man <laughs> sitting in the room and you gonna bring that up on February twenty eighth. That Come is on, no man. pity. Yeah, that no is pity. no pity. That's like, hey, you said that I see pride. you, nigga. Yeah. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Man. Read. <laughs> and his anger did tear perpetually. And he kept his wrath forever. That's why they bring it back up. Like, nah, we we got to kill them better than than a lethal injection. We got to find a way to do it better than that. We got to go back to our roots. We hate these niggas. Mm -hmm. Make America great again. Make it back to the days when we hated these niggas openly. Yeah. Let's go back to them days. Mm -hmm. Let's show some zeal for how we do this. Let's let's hang them. Go ahead. You good? Also? He quote. Nah, hey, 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 look, also, look, 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 look. I have a zeal for I got this. You, I got you know what I'm saying? Like, let's call a spade a spade. The white man is the devil. He the damn devil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, you know, if you don't quote me on a canary mission like you did, Bishop, the white man is the devil. I say it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is. Go ahead. All right, it's February 28th. <laughs> Welcome to the Criminal Justice Full Committee. It was a typical meeting on Capitol Hill Sound that like quickly a turned into mob. a very atypical <laughs> yeah. topic surrounding death row nothing. inmates and how they're executed. The uh, opportunity to add a firing squad as a method of execution. The suggestion of a firing squad in the wake of several failures from the State the Department of Correction me. to properly follow protocol when executing prisoners using lethal injection, leading to questions not usually heard on Capitol Hill. Will a person be shot in the head or the heart or where will a person be shot? But then came the comment prompting an apology tonight. It came from Republican Representative Paul Sherrill from Sparta. Thank you, Representative Powers, for bringing this. I think it's a very good idea. I've been thinking and about it And I was just time. wondering about, uh, could I put Since a amendment on that? It. it would include hanging by a tree also. <laughs> Can I put a amendment? And, uh, oh, and also, my God. Uh, I would like to sign on to your bill, sir. He Tonight, said, oh, Cheryl uh, apologized. Stop, stop. He's like, I'll be the first one. So he agreed. He <laughs> said, Shit, I want the firing squad. I think that's a great idea. I'm glad you mentioned it. And let's it. take it a step further. <laughs> I'll bring the rope. I'll bring a rope. Because <laughs> yep. you know how much <laughs> ammo is right now. Yeah. <laughs> we can get it done right. I'll bring the rope. Yep. Let's not waste any bullets. Esau is like, the <laughs> devil that the Bible speaks of. Bro. You can't make this up, bro. Like, it's in the scriptures. You cannot make up the hatred that they have for you. You know what I'm saying? But then again, like you said at the beginning, these dumb dogs walking hand in hand with their enemy. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? It, it has yeah. to stop. <laughs> <laughs> has hey, to stop. That was a wake up call for that black man too. He was like, "So hold on, you gonna shoot him in the heart or the yeah. head?" He the only one in there reasoning <laughs> thinking about it, right? Like, hold on, and why that's you crazy. Even, why are you that's, even thinking that? That's what. Um, Damn. Romans ten and one, right? Quick, mm -hmm. just real quick, just real quick. Romans ten and one. Watch this. Romans ten and one. The Book of Romans, chapter ten and verse one. Bring it up, brethren. My heart's desire. And prayer to God for Israel is mm -hmm. that they might be saved. Go ahead. Watch this. For I bear them record. He said, I'm bearing the Israelites record. I, I can say this openly, Rick. That they have a zeal of God. We got a zeal. We got that spirit in us. Mm -hmm. We got a zeal of God. So when somebody say, hey, let's have a firing squad to execute, something within the black man's spirit is like, well, wait a minute. Right. Are, are y'all going to shoot him in the heart? Are you going to shoot him in the, in the head? Is this going to be quick? What, you get the reasoning with yourself. Yeah. Like, this is out of order. Yeah, Something ain't right about it. Something ain't right, just right about that, period. Mm -hmm. But the man whose spirit ain't upright said, let's hang him. But the man, yeah, the man <laughs> who, spirit, who don't have a spirit, a conscience at all, <laughs> yep. said, you know what? I agree with it and looked the black man in the eye like <laughs> he is Jacob and Esau in the room. Ain't nobody else. Right. Everybody else just disappeared to, to him. Yep. It was me versus you. And I'm going to say, what, words hurt, bro. Yeah. Words hurt. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say this out openly. Mm -hmm. And I don't give a damn. He looking at him like, what you going to do, nigga? Yep. <laughs> what you going to do? Shut your white mouth. You going to come slap you. me like Will Smith slap me? Because <laughs> yep. I ain't Chris Rock. Because I ain't Chris Rock. <laughs> your ass would be the first on the right. firing squad. And then hung. Huh? Hey, you understand, I, but I, this I, this I is crazy, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You hey, gonna Isaiah, pull the whole? You gonna pull nah, the nah, whole? Nah, nah, just quick, uh, quick. I, <laughs> chapter, nah, bro. Nah, forty-two, twenty-two. Isaiah forty-two, twenty-two. Because um, you gotta think about it. Um, 
Who's in the prison system? Who is primarily yeah, on right. death row? Yeah. Know it's who it is. blacks and Hispanics. Yeah, that's a good and, and at the same time, you got to think about it because um, Gamaliel brought up John the Baptist. Remember, John the Baptist was in prison. Mm-hmm. Paul was in prison. Like all the prophets, they was put in prison. So read mm-hmm. that right quick. This law is for the is, is for the for for the repentant and for the unrepentant. This is what they trying to push this for. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 42 and verse... Tw- Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. You, right? you see, this is one of them instances. See, he didn't what do it to you. What are we talking about? We're talking about being in Bruh. prison, uh-huh. locked up, who's Break. in the prison houses. Just because a brother said Jeremiah 42 and 22. <laughs> this is what we're talking about, bro. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Talking about blacks and Hispanics, we robbed and spoiled. Mm. Our culture, our history has been stripped from us through slavery, right? They are all of them snared in holes. And all of our people, the Israelites, are snared in holes, right? They are hid in prison houses. They are hid in prison houses, right? They are for a prey. Uh huh. They're for a prey. This is why they trying to, they got an execution chair and going to have a firing squad. That's crazy. Damn. Right? They are for a prey and none deliver it. Uh-huh. Mm. For a spoil and none saith restore. And none mm. say to restore. But like I said, this law is for us. This is why Esau is hey, sticking to that hatred. Yep. Let me get a couple before we close out. I'm telling you. Give me Proverbs 6 and 9 right quick. Proverbs 6 and 9. And then uh, give me uh, Romans 13 and 11. Let's read that. The book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 9. Bring How long would thou sleep? Oh, sluggard. The scriptures is asking, man, how long you going to slumber? How long you going to sleep in this society? Read. How long would thou sleep, oh, sluggard? Go ahead. When would thou arise? When, when are we going to realize that we in captivity? Mm-hmm. When are we going to realize what this man has did to us for over 500 years? Mm-hmm. When, when are you going to arise and wake up to this? This is what we ask in our people. This is why in, in, uh, in Genesis it's saying, who the hell is going to rise you up? Right. It's going to take a phenomenon. It's going to take something to rise us up. Or yet, we're going to be in that slumbering state. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't going to never. Two-thirds of us ain't going to never wake up. Never. Give me uh, R- Romans 13 and 11. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Go ahead. Bring it up. And that knowing the time. It says knowing this time that you in right now. Because our forefathers didn't have this information that we got. They didn't have the internet. They don't have the, you know, you we walking with literal computers, computers yeah. in our pockets. Yep. Mm-hmm. Our forefathers had had didn't have no damn computers. <laughs> you remember when the, the dial came out? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> yeah. We was amazed. <laughs> they were yeah, sending pictions. Did I do it right? <laughs> they was amazed at that thing, bro. <laughs> I, re- I remember when we first had the um the chat. Yeah, the AOL, AOL chat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was like, oh, snaps. And then when you can see them typing back. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh man. Then that your mom said, get the off the computer. Was I got to use the phone. So so they didn't have this, they didn't have this technology. Mm-hmm. He, the most high has allowed the devil to give them power. Mm-hmm. To give them power to use this technology. But what they thought it was for evil, we supposed to use it for good. Yep. This is what the scriptures are saying. So read it again. And that knowing the time. Knowing the time, read. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's time for us to wake out of sleep. It's time for us to wake out of that slumber, that slumbering state when we don't realize when you 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 sin as a black man, and this is supposed to be your colleague. This is supposed to be your, your you know what I'm saying, your, yeah. your friend, somebody you talk to. Uh, Michael Irvin, uh, you made an extreme, that was extreme um, example you used, but based off your history, they are they are uh, uh, validated by their alle- allegation. Right. What the hell is this? Come on, man. You could lose everything from an you allegation. Could lose, you could lose everything, and a brother lost everything. Yep. yep. All the brother want to do is give a play by play. Mm-hmm. Right. That's all he. That's all he said he want to do. I, I'm only Damn. reporting the news. That's what he said he want to do. Mm-hmm. You understand? And y'all take all that from him. All right, read on. Come on. Now, so Michael I- Irvin, you gotta wake up. Yep. You got to wake up because life is Bring more than sports, bro. Right. It's more than sports. Read. Come on. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than we were believed. The scripture says our salvation is nearer than what we believe. As this information is coming out, this is a token. Us 
bringing out this word right now is a token that Christ is, hey, he's on on the doorsteps, bro. Mm-hmm. Yep. He said, before I return, I'm going to give you a chance to repent, man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you back to your fathers. I'm going to return the fathers back to, give me, matter of fact, uh, you know what I want? Malachi, Malachi 4, right? Yep. Let's bring that out right quick. This is how you know. This is a token. You hearing this word, pure form, all the scriptures that the officers are bringing out, this understanding, the understanding that the bishops is bringing out, the deacons, this is a token. That, hey, our salvation is nearer than what we believe. You got what I want? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 5. Go ahead. Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet. Yeah. Before the coming and the great and dreadful day this of the Lord. This says before the coming and the day of the Lord, he said, I'm going to send my prophets. Mm-hmm. Read. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children. He's supposed to turn the hearts, our minds, back to our fathers. Back to who our forefathers is. Read, come on. And the heart of the children to their fathers. So now we start to understand what Jeremiah was standing for, what Ezekiel was standing for, what Malachi, Zechariah, mm-hmm. what Christ came down and died for mm-hmm. because they spent billions of dollars to keep this information from us. Mm-hmm. So before his coming of the Lord, he said, man, I'm not just coming to kill. I'm going to give you an opportunity to repent. Yep. I'm going to give you back this understanding. I'm going to yeah. rouse you up. But you still got brothers that still slumbering that don't realize, nigga, you in captivity. Right. And you're going to keep getting these wake-up calls yep. until one-third of us repent. Yep. That's right. Last scripture. Give me uh, Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28 right quick. The book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor mm-hmm. and are heavy laden, mm-hmm. and I will give you rest. The scripture says you got to come to the Lord. If you want rest, if you really want justice, you got to come to him. He's the only one going to give you rest. In the spirit. Read, come on. And I will give you rest. Go ahead. Take my yoke upon you mm-hmm. and learn of me. He said you better take this yoke because this is, com- this is coming to you whether you believe it or not. Mm-hmm. The burden of death, understanding who we are, you better take it upon you and you better learn of Christ. Read. For the I- black Messiah. Read. Not For- that white boy that's on your on, on in your grandma's house. Right Read. out. Not the, <laughs> not the not the black man with a jerry curl. This, you know, you know, some of them got the uh, the the Asiatic. Got the Asiatic. Yeah, he, the hell is this? he got a goddamn jerry. He curl. got a jerry curl, yo. That's mocking Christ. Yep. Come on, read. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Go ahead. For I am meek and lowly in heart. Go ahead. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Go ahead. For my yoke is easy mm. and my burden is light. This is what our forefathers. Last scripture, Second Maccabees seven. I know I said that was the last, but if you know me, you know. <laughs> Second Maccabees uh, seven. He said, "My burden is light." This is what our forefathers understood. Second Maccabees seven and sixteen. I want to show you <laughs> the mindset of our forefathers, man, before they was put to death. It's a light thing to go through this. And this is what, hey, this is what we got to understand. We got to get this in our spirit, man. Go ahead. Read that. Second Maccabees chapter 7 and verse 16. Yeah. Right? Then looked he unto the king. You got to look a king. You got to look. Hey, man, I pray for this spirit. You don't know how you're going to react at that day. But I pray that I can look a look at Edomite in the eyes on that day and say this. Read. Come on. Then looked he unto the king and said, Come on. Thou hast power over men. You got you might have power over us right now, read. Thou art corruptible. Mm-hmm. Thou doest what thou wilt. You doing what the hell you want to do? You want to bring a firing squad? You got the you got the ability to uh, frame that mischief by law. Mm-hmm. Read. Yet think not that our nation is forsaken of God. Woo! That's a- Said, hey, don't think that we forsaken of God when you start bringing these things down upon us. Read, come on. After him also they brought, I'm sorry, but abide, but abide a while. He said, listen, but you king, you Edomite, you abide right where you at for a while. Read. And, and, and behold his great power. And I want you to behold his power. Because what he going to do when he come back? How he will torment thee and thy seed. <laughs> That's Bible. That's Bible. Bible. Give me Bible. Give me Bible. The Bible yeah. says, hey, you got power over us right now. Uh-huh. But don't think you that the it. Lord didn't forsake us. You abide where you at right now. Yep. But when Christ returns, he going to torment it. Not only you, but your seed. Yep. And that's the good news. That's the comforting news Prepare of the Israelites. Somebody tell Chris Bashar that. 
Somebody tell Rob Parker that. Yep. Somebody tell Michael Irvin that. You understand? It's high time, you black folks, you Hispanics, you natives, uh, you Ecuadorians, <laughs> wake up yeah. out of yeah. sleep. They just went to Ecuador. When the prophets leave, earthquake. earthquake. Yeah. It's yep. not a game, man, out here. You understand? So all praises, Lord's will. Y'all got something out of the, the show. All praises to the most high. <laughs> Lord's will, we be better next week. We're going to try again next week to be better. Mm. Every week, we're going to try to be better and better, man. That's all we can do. You understand? 12, 1230 on a Monday. Yeah, on a Monday, Not 1237. Now, brothers, is focused on the screen. But all praises to the Damn, most high, Damn, sure. <laughs> Not 1238. Um, Officer Hered, we got. <laughs> Officer Lagaboy. Officer Lager. Officer Benaya. Officer Benaya, yeah, yeah, yeah. Officer like him. Officer like him. The real. The Officer real. Like the real. Like Shouts out to the reader. All praises the Greeks. Shouts out to all the Greeks in the room. Hey, Greeks. Hey, Greeks. Hey, hey, Greeks. hey, hey, hey shout everybody. out to all the Greeks out there. Hey, everybody. Bro. Hey, everybody. <laughs> to my real Jews, man. Shalom, Shalom. to the 12 tribes, man. No <laughs> <laughs> we the real Jews and we blacker than cold. Don't know that Jesus Christ, he look like you. Oh no, then who are them dudes living in Jerusalem?